say you will know it. On this very platform, we swore to speak the truth regardless of the consequences. That was the oath we took. I agree with all of you. And here we speak the truth. The question is very simple. If they love you so much, the same people that brought you salvation, why are they supporting Muslims to kill you? Who's your man? Instead of you to be shouting and running around, go to Rome and ask them. Who's your man? Pope John, John Sistus, the 96th. What have you done? My people are dying, they're killing me. You can't do it. Don't be talking nonsense. They think we are some, some low life scumbag cowards from Africa. You must be insane. Here we tell you the truth. If you don't like it, to jump. You to go and take a rope and hang yourself. Ozubo. Ozubo. And do the world a favor. Because your ignorance, we cannot handle it. I got power, sir. It's such ignorance that is fueling the mass migration from Africa into Europe to provide cheap labor. Mm. That was how they programmed you. You think like a fool. That is why in your village there is no housing. That is why in your village there is no running water. That is why in your village the school system has crumbled. Yet you don't want to ask yourself, why are these things happening to me? Hold on there, hold on there. I want to greet all of you that are already here. Um, I see the man, your humble servant, Metris and one name, coming out from the city of Vienna, Austria, to be precise. A land that is landlocked, but are doing excellently well. A purely landlocked land, no, 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 surrounded by other land, no access to waterways, and they are progressing. A country where they don't have anything like Ebukobi, Omobai, John Suleiman. They know they exist here. They, there's not churches from any junction to junction. Yet they care for humanity. Yet they care for their people. Yet they speak the truth. Regardless. Yet they don't come out to deceive their people. What we have in Biafra land. They are deceivers. And they are baby Jesus. Are running around social media. To stop the moving train. Has already started. Pay attention to this before we continue. Pay attention to this. These are one of the things we are talking about. Pay attention to this. Pay attention. This is our shrine. Anytime, anytime you hear freedom of worship, you remember these people. You know, when we begin to hit them hard, they now remember freedom of worship. And that power My God is not a God of speech. The God of Bible, my God is the God of heaven. The Almighty Jesus. That's his stupid friend. I I am entering the places. I am entering the places. I am that's why you are changing you. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Surrender anywhere you are. Whosoever you give your life to Jesus and don't even participate on this. I don't worship things. It's a fake God. That is the only one. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah. Put no fuel on Is there anything resembling anything like freedom of worship here? I'm asking many of you. I want to thank the Director of State, very smart species. I listened to Master Chena Samuru, he gave an instruction. He gave instruction, I hear my name. He said we should not try to bring any autopilot in our platform. And the advice is noted. I've never heard Master Chena Samuru say, Metisola, stop preaching about the injustice going on in our land in the form of religion. Some of you cockroaches want to use sentiment. 
to stop the moving train. Some of you are writing me, I block, block, I block a hell out of that generation. Writing me on WhatsApp. Uh, are you disobeying the DOS now? Are you my man they, in the eye service? I block a, a hell out of them. If you like, be my mother. No give a shit about you. They want to use Thai to, you know how Christianity function now? Allegation, blind allegation. They will turn everything around. Even when we are preaching about the evil going on, they will tell you, you are attacking us. You are forcing us not to uh, do our religion. There's a freedom of worship. I don't want to participate in anything that is attacking us. Your, your preaching will be turned into attack. If you are not strong like Matthew Sala, you capitulate. I have a record about an hour for you. Master Chena Samuel said we should be very careful in the topics. Especially at this point in time we are. What is disturbing us at this point is religion. Those living in Lagos, we are asking to go back. There's one church there. Anchored by Ebu Kobi. Is he telling their people to go back? No, no. Is he preaching in Lagos to tell Igbos, please, go back home? He will still tell them there's hope. That's provided as God. That he will take care of them. Every our problem stems on religion. And that is why Mazen Namli come said, who, who, who is the bagger that said we should not speak? And we have been challenging many of you to come for a debate. Come for a debate. It's not a, you know, some of you are running out for a debate. Instead, you go on social media and start writing that uh, you, uh, you are bringing division with this thing you are doing now. This attack you must, must stop now. You are bringing division. Are you paying me? Have you called me before? Say now. I know. Please take this one and hold family. Have you called me before? Have you see share give me star on my on my on my page? At least maybe give send that I'm star. Have you seen super chat here? My job has been completed. The reason why my children start speaking regularly is because of infiltrator. We have defeated them. What else do you want me to be talking about? Mazen Nam the Kano must be released and the lawyers are doing the job on top of it. So you want me to be coming out every day shouting Biafra, 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 Biafra. Then you know that I'm on the right track. We have fought the battle that we're supposed to fight, which is as a result of religion. Nero Febu. Elohim said. Nero Febu took a lot of our people because of religious mindset and superstitiousness. Elohim said the US has failed. To go grab him and say where you do. Elohim said that, that uh, Simon Eba is the only person that will lead us. Some of them were clapping for her. Women of God, right on. So, no advert, my brother. Monek. I'm going to advert now here to show that I, I monetize it. Since you have been watching my platform, and when we keep watching you, they're getting hard advert, advert, I cover up. You think I don't know how to do all those things? Because we brought our time. If I be, 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 But you see, there's freedom of speech, and you want me to close, close mouth. You want to bring the letter of state into our gospel. Dear mm. say we should stop now. I, I try to listen to that broadcast so many times. They don't understand what is command and control. The command the Chinese I want to give you should stop bringing autopilot or a command and we must take it. He just say what is a suggestion at this critical time. What we need not to discuss is about Christianity. He never talk about discussing evil that is going on in our land. I got power statue Some of you that don't want to wake up. You see what they're doing to our own world of life here. See what they're doing. They are burning it. I know you are be clapping for them. Chad has a freedom of speech and freedom of worship. You see what people are burning our shrine? Something that can give us value. Something that we can tell our children. This is how we begin. I have a lot of them here. I have a lot. Anya Bela, Anya Bela. Anya Bela be able to smile on the face of our ancestors. Anya Bela. No Jupiter. I'm one of the bagger. Now, let me tell you. I want to appreciate those that have been following me for years. And still, still following me. I want to appreciate you. I'm very loyal before every other person. Some of you that understand what we are doing, I'm very, very loyal. I value you. It's not easy for you to left whatever you are doing to come and watch me. I respect you a lot for that.
And I congratulate you for being among the chosen ones. Who understood the problem of Africa? Not the sentimental Mughals, I call them. Those who, in the morning, they tell you, eh, this religion has destroyed our land. Uh, we have, I don't know what we are going to do. But they are not writing me from behind. Uh, you have to stop this now. It's bringing division. And I bought her. Manamani who competed as a hypocrisy. Now, before I bring them, my guest in, I'm going to bring them one after the other. Matthias Ezra is on his way. He are going to, he's going to join us. Reverend Father who is, is going to call, though he told me he's doing a mass that he's going to join on, in NS, even if he didn't join. Uh, he's with, he's with, with me. I, I'm still going to call him. We still have our high priest. He's going to join us. And at the same time, our lovely sister. I will take this thing to a greater level. This 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 preaching now. I have decided maybe it's what where, what I will be doing. I'll be doing it every Sunday. I may I may reduce the way I come out online. I may be coming out two times in a week. That is how I want to project it. So that I'll use the other time to take care of my career. I have a career. Not every day I'm coming out here. I think um, we have done the job necessary that we we're supposed to do. Now watch this now. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Ancestors, I greet you in the name of Chukwu Kabiyama. He that makes, made heaven and earth and makes all things perfect in his own time. The creator of all the forces of nature. I greet you in the name of your chi, in the name of your water world, your earth world, the sky world, the wind and the mountains and everywhere. I greet you with peace. Here I'm standing is um, called an engine. An engine is in one make of Bioma in the local government area. And then the Udi is in Enugu State, also in Nigeria, and here is Africa. Um, what I'm here to tell you today is very significant. One that I'm standing here, what you can see here is what I call religious intolerance. Now look at it, look at it, look at it. Now, what you just saw is a terrorist act by Christians who decided to come into this shrine that being tempted so by a young man to destroy it, to cut it down, destroy ancient artifacts. These pots, as you see them, I hope you can see them. I hope you can see those pots. Those pots there. Yes. Now, those pots we just saw, they are older than so many, so many men. In fact, a history from our own age. We haven't seen anybody bringing those pots. That means those pots have been there before our fathers. Now, those Christians came here to destroy these things. Bond them. I mean, saying that they, have not, they are now for Jesus, and therefore everything about their ancestor is evil and should be destroyed. But why? Why should that be? When we go to uh, Israel, we still see so many of their ancient stuff. We go to Greek, we still see so many of their ancient stuff. Why should Africa be so brainwashed to destroy their own? You can see, um, this is where they went to into a shrine and destroyed it. Some of you are telling me about freedom of worship. Some of their baby, baby Jesus, more than this social media. Some of block, I block a lot of their generation. I wouldn't mind to have six people that always come here to watch me. I don't need your, I don't need crowd. I don't need crowd. I, I hear one of us saying, hey, my teacher that is even bragging. He, he only have 36,000 followers. But to me, I have a hundred and something. <laughs> they thought that we are doing competition. I'm a civil engineer by profession. Biafra is not a way for me to survive. Rather, I'm wasting my own time. 
which I'm not regretting because it's my ancestral home. So some of you comparing uh, followers, followers, followers. I know if, even if I if I'm jobless like many of you, I'll bring out my time here. I'll build up this platform. So when you hear freedom of worship, worship, all any time I am I am waking with up. They will bring another analogy to subdue the awakening spirit in us. They remember about freedom of worship. What I'm just showing you here now is happening life. This is another one. Look at it here. Africa must wake up. I have been to so many countries. I went to their museum. I pay. When I went to Vatican City, I pay to watch these things that are burning. This is another one. This is another one. You see, I'm, yeah, I'm running it down. I'm running it down. Hi, you tee, tee up. You can see you up. Hey, tee up. Our shrine. I will, 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 I That is why we must continue what we are doing. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. I will be in this platform. I will be broadcasting from this platform. Nothing like changing it, change it, go ahead, change it. No, we don't do it like that. What we are preaching is gospel. Before I bring our sister in, our sister, please, I'm going to continue trying this number. Unless you want to add me with this number, I can't, I don't know the country code. I believe you can. I will try with this number. I'm going to bring you in in two minutes' time. I know you are watching. I'm going to bring you in in two minutes' time. Matthias says that I said, okay. Uh, Matthias, okay, don't worry. I'm also going to bring you in. Um, let me, let me, let me play you this before I start. For many of you that are just joining us, Mazen Namdekano is a leader of the young people of Biafra. He meant well for us. Mazen Namdekano is a, a very intelligent species. He brought many of you closer to preach the word of Chukukada. Sometimes, the reason why we are in this level is because we are not implementing what we are preaching. Some of the things are lacking. That's why you see them running around social media. Hatch of freedom. They don't know what is Biafra. Nigerian government was discovered by Europeans. The same way Christians in, in Africa, we are discovered by Europeans. They conquered you, which you are going to see here. They conquered you. And then give you religion. But you want to reject Nigeria and uh, keep on Christianity. But all we know is destroy what we have. I don't know what we have. I don't know what we have. Let everybody worship what they want to worship. Uh, we must respect our own culture. But they are going to destroy our own. And none of you are speaking. Some of you are jubilating. The pastor is a very powerful man. Let's play this. Let me show you what they did to us in Two minutes. I'll bring our sister. Our sister, I'm going to bring you first. Pay attention. This is, um, sorry, four minutes. It's going to take four minutes. Fragments from the periphery of the African spiritual and cultural system became Christianity. And when the Protestant broke away in the 1500s, the Ethiopian church was already a thousand plus years old. Had nothing to do with Protestant Europeanism. When the Catholic church was founded in the 10th century, the Ethiopian church was already 500 years old. Has nothing to do with that. Though some people try to make it appear that we borrowed it from them in that form. No. If you look at how we look at the arrangements of, and, and our referencing the divine and our relationship to divinity, and the elemental understanding of how to build human character so that it imitates divinity, you get a good sense of what African culture is really about. A lot of us practice the Yoruba culture, some of us the Igbo culture and others, but none of them have any sense of think over the other. Each of them are groups of African under certain circumstances at a certain time in history trying to work this thing out. You know, Yoruba have done an extraordinary job. The 
Igbo did an extraordinary job. Igbo, Igbo have done an Igbo have done an extraordinary job. Just pay attention. Before they were attacked. Before they were attacked. Just just continue watching. By the British. By the British. If you look at the Igbo, for instance, who didn't have the kind of um, the royal kingship that Europe had, the Igbos were resided, their power resided in the sacred grove. Correct. When the whites figured that out, they just burnt the whole damn forest down. You see, I'm, you know, when the white people discover where our strength lies, they went into the bush, which is what their agents are doing now, and burn everything down. The white people, the missionaries, they just burnt the whole damn forest down in you know, order to destroy the sacred grove of the people. And so that dismantled and disorganized the people because. They had violated the sanctity of what these people believed and thought they knew. With the Yoruba, they tried to capture the king and capture the country. Child, let's leave it here. I have a lot. I will be coming out on Sundays. On Sunday, will be purely on religious matters. I got Dr. Sacha. Get him to say, take it easy. Now, we want to face our people. We want to go to our people. Our people are waking up. Now, the reason why we are here is for two reasons. We are going to tell you where this nonsense of religious attack or trying to turn our gospel into division. You know, the Christianity, the agent of division. Christianity, are, they, are, they, they create devil where there is no devil. They create invisible enemy. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, die by fire. Enemy, my enemy, die by fire. So they create different, different enemies. So that is why some of them that are not up a lot, they always, you know, creating invisible enemies. And then um, they are also good with propaganda and lies because of Holy Spirit. What Holy Spirit told them. So now, now our people are waking up. The question is. We are saying we want to go back to our root. We want to go back to our root. What is the meaning of going back to our root? When we say going back to our root. So that's why we are here today. To know how ancient our father have, you know, how they were doing things in their old time. And we're also going to explain the reason you are seeing pandemonium going on in present day Biafra in terms of, you know, religion. So our sister, we are going to manage this. Uh, normally, I think um, if I have known that you have this line separate, we would have done this in earlier on before now. I'm going to try you in this line. And then I'll go to ask you some questions. Very, very pertinent. Very pertinent. We are going to manage this line. Yes, our sister, can you hear me? Call me on the other number. I don't know how to. I, I asked you about the country code and I couldn't get the country code. I think if I have known this, it's I would have added this long time ago. No, okay, that's fine. But all, the country code, America, who won? But that's okay. If you want to come in, I come. If not, we can use it. Yes, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. I think it's very clear. Very clear here. Yes. Okay. Now, now you are welcome but to the. Onye Musto, I'll call you back just because the phone name is on him. It's okay. Right. It's okay, our sister. Um, you are welcome to this uh, program, and um, uh, I want to thank you in a very special way for your input into this struggle. Um, I don't know, I don't know how God just brought you to this struggle to begin to um help our people and at the same time to fight the enemy that just visited us a couple of months ago uh, to topple this um, noble cause. And as we are going, uh, we are also learning. And that is why we have this um, uh, uh, kind of forum where we can learn from one another. And at the same time, learn from those that are also watching from us, th those that are going to call in and ask us questions. Or rather to give some explanation on the things we are going to discuss. Now, going straight to the point. Uh, our people are waking up. Our people are waking up, as you can see. Sure. And sure. the, the question you... now is that, as we are waking our people up, we need to explain to them because some of them are asking us now we say we should, we should leave jesus what are we going to hold on to so some of them are thinking that is um normal or is just is a must you must go and move something and be holding it on to because they destroy they destroy what we have in the olden days by the europeans who brought a religion or especially who brought christianity to us so the question i want to ask you what do you understand by going back to our root you can also come you know you can also mix it up with 
spiritual spirituality. I know everything is um everything is uh, obtainable. So in no share, I will, I'm going to give you a very uh, 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 maximum time. I know you. This is something not to just uh, double into and just rush out. Take your time. What is the meaning of going back to our root? What do you understand by that word? How? What does it mean? To an average Biafra. Okay. Thank you, my brother. Yeah. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name, you know, with all due respect, I have to. I don't know they know who the most, uh, almost yeah, like the most people know who is speaking, but I think it's appropriate. <clears throat> um, thank you, my Dimple, too, for this. I take it very <coughs> serious and I appreciate it because this is something, you know, like I told you, I was surprised to see that you have been on this campaign for years. For sure. I have been too. I have been too for, for more than 20 years. I have. Wow. So I think everything is coming uh, together. The stars are lining up for us. Mm -hmm. We Africans and Biafra in particular. Not wasting much time. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, my fellow Biafrans. Good afternoon to the. Uh, this is strictly our thing. So uh, it has nothing to do with Biafra, what we're doing, right? Or does it have? I want to know how I'm bringing it in. Uh, this is Biafran people. It's Biafran people we are speaking to, especially because these are the, you know, you know, is in okay. our environment. They brought this um, um, religion. So we are speaking to Biafran okay. people, yes. Good afternoon, At the same time, my, the lovers of freedom. Good afternoon, my Yeah, good afternoon, my fellow Biafran lovers of freedom. And with all due respect, I must extend my greetings to our leadership starting from Muhammad K. That was why I asked, you yes, know. Yes. Because I don't want to mix things up. But I must respect because once we invoke Biafra, we must invoke our Messiah, who is Ahmadi Kewa. So yes, I yes. throw my respect to him, to the leadership, DOS, which is the structure, mm -hmm. the backbone, the spinal cord of this structure, of this movement, starting from the head, which is my Dozen right now, as we yes, speak. Yes. My utmost respect to them and to you all, my brothers and sisters. Now, my name is Marian T. Hyder. I original uh, officially, I am from Umunoha. Umunoha is named Bitolu local government. Umunoha is a tiny town that is bordered by Eziama, Ubiato, and the Fakala, and Owako, and o, o, uh, Otora. We are the center. Umunoha, one of the things we are most popular known for is a deity called Igwe Kala. Mm. Proudly, I am a daughter of Igwe Kala. I do not disassociate myself from it because I am somebody that believes there is a force. You call him God, you call him universal consciousness, you call him any name, there's a force, this spark. Just like you cannot tell the story of Biafra to today without calling the Omadike. He is the spark under IPOB, the originator, he who started everything. So there has to be, I believe that strongly. So. There's a reason why he placed me in this location called Umunoha. I believe it's omnipotent, omnipresent. I don't think he makes mistakes because he's this, or, or, you know, uh, like I said, universal consciousness. That's how I qualify him. So there's a reason why he placed me in this place. And before I was born, this day he worked in Kala has been there. So it was not a coincidence. That is why I respect it. I don't worship Igwe Kala, but I acknowledge that it's part of my DNA because I'm from there. So I'm having taken, I don't want to take too much to introduce myself. I want to give it up because I sometimes I hear some brouhaha, like I'm hiding. I'm not a hidden person. I use my official name in America. I even some of the people that are claiming this foolishness, they use fake names. Everywhere you see my footprint, since I started this fight, I come with my name, Marian T. Hyder. That's my official name. Having said that, that is my name. So, but I'll be speaking with you all, with all due respect, I love you all from my heart, and I speak my mind. Whatever you hear me speak in public is what I speak behind closed doors. That's how I am. So today, I'll be talking to we all from United States of America. So, welcome to the program, you all. Let us relax back and see what is going to unfold before our eyes. I believe there are other speakers coming. Yes. So I'm here to learn too. It's not just about me. I'm going to bring my own input, my own perspective. And then they will bring their perspective. I'm going to learn from them too. So quickly going to the question you asked me. Yes. I'm going to start by a second. I will give one or two definitions, then I'll get into the matter. Now we are saying this. Where do we go? 
Now, that was the reason I invoked the word universal consciousness of Godhead. According to the Christian Bible, again, what I do when I invoke the Bible is because most of us are Christian. Yes. And I was there. That's why I reference and I studied the book. So there are things in this book that is familiar to us. And I believe, I'm one of those that believe that if you want to teach somebody something, it's easier if you use something they're familiar with to introduce their mind so that they can follow your analogy or argument. That's why I reference the Bible. So let's look at John chapter 4, verse 24. It says, God is spirit. Pay attention, guys. God is spirit. We are talking about Tukwakika Diamond, universal consciousness. So I'm calling him Elohim. Whatever you call him, that's the Godhead. He's a spirit. And his worshippers must, he's a must. Look at the qualifying adjectives. Must, it's not may. Must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now, let's get into the subject. Now, if God is a spirit, and those who worship him were worshiping in truth and spirit, what is spirituality? What is spirituality? The dictionary meaning I'm going to read now, it says, the quality of being concerned with the human spirit or soul as opposed to material or physical things. The shift in pri priority is allows you to and that is when you go into spirituality he said the shift in the shift in spirituality prioritize allows you to embrace our spirituality in more profound way if anybody has paid attention to me i continue to say i'm not adhering to and for any religion and i'm not castigating them which is what i'm going to uh, i'm going to unravel this I want us to go to spirituality, or spirituality. Now I gave us the meaning of spirituality. Let's exploit religion, which is where the fight is. <laughs> Remember our God is a spirit. And for us to worship him in truth, we must worship him in spirit, according to the Bible. Now religion, let's go there, it says, the belief, religion is the belief and in worship of a superhuman power or power. This is the worship. He said, especially a God that is capital G O D or small G O D E, ideas about the relationship between science and religion. Now, listen, he's saying, what he's saying is that, that religion is the belief. And the worship of a superhuman, superhuman power or powers, especially a god, capital G O D or God, G O D S. That's religion. And that is where the problem begins. Spirituality told you that you only worship ancient of days, you only worship the God head. But it's religion. People are confusing it and conflicting it with spirituality. They are not the same thing. Now, the argument will be religion and spirituality. Which one came first? I will challenge anyone and argue with anyone that spirituality came first. Because if we believe that God has, Tukwadika Abiyama is a spirit, he is the spark, he started everything. He never created religion. Religion is the creation of man, and I'm going to prove it to us. So spirituality is. That means that if God had is a spirit, his children or his creation, apart from you know, other things, we are the ones, the highest of his creation. We, he calls us, we are the only creation he calls my children or my sons. According to Genesis, he said, let us make man in our own image. So we must operate in a spiritual realm. To have access to him, to communicate with him, no feelings, no religion. What do I mean? Even in this our fight of Biafra today, 
My brother, there was a proposition you made. Rightfully so, even though I have thought about it for a long time. So I was shocked and impressed at the same time when you made that proposal, which was, let us try to communicate with our other brothers and sisters from the coastal region. Why did you make that argument? I believe I understood you because if I want to communicate my mind to my brother from coastal region and I'm speaking Igbo, would the person hear me? Yes, no. To that person, I'm speaking gibberish. Only the person understands the language. So if our God is a spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, so I must make sure that my spiritual antenna is connected to the spirit of God. They will have that relationship. What do you mean? Let me go again according to the Bible, and it's true. Man is three-dimensional. Man is a spirit. We are spiritual beings having physical experience. Man has one dimension you call spiritual. That's the spirit of man. The raw. You don't see. It's an energy. Just like our God is an energy. You don't see him. He has no form. Then you have the mental. When you talk about the mental component of man, you're dealing, that's when you're dealing with things like the, the, the thoughts, the thought of man. You say, oh, I thought about this. You cannot see the thoughts. When you say my thoughts, you cannot see it. You cannot touch it. But the thought is not spiritual. Then you talk about the physical. That's when you talk, begin to talk about my brain, my, my organs, my body. These are things that are solid. You can feel them. But these three components is what makes me a human being. Now, if I must have communication with my God, my creator, the universal consciousness, then that means my spiritual part must be awoken so that it can receive the message. I cannot be communicating with you with my mental capacity. That, will be, that is why I gave the example. It will be like somebody, an evil person communicating with an evil brother in evil language. It makes no sense. Even if the job body brother is talking to me, I cannot understand, and I thought he cannot. So we are wasting our time. I cannot use my physical being, my physical part, to communicate with God. He will not work. So my spiritual component is what must be awoken. So that as the universal consciousness of that force we call God is communicating with me, I'm hearing him, he's hearing me. I have a connection with him. So now, after I, haven't, I hope I have done a good explanation because I'm going somewhere with this. I want us to understand that. So now we have, the, we have the understanding of what a religion is and what spirituality is. But where I want us to go is spirituality. Now, this will take us to the next component, I will, uh, definition I would like us to have before we really double into the matter. What I'm doing, I'm building background so that when I start flowing, people can follow me up. There is something called mythology. M-Y-T-H-O-L-G-Y. It's called mythology. What is mythology? Let's see. He says, meteorology is a collection of myths. Sometimes myths are like akukifo, beliefs. That's really what it is. People believe and culture. He said, a collection of myths, especially one belonging to a particular religious or cultural tradition. Do we get it? What is trying to take us here is that Every culture has their own mythology. They have their own myth. This is important. Let me take it one more before I go in. He said, a collection of myths, especially one belonging to a particular religious or cultural tradition. Because we continue to hear my Jonathan and I think we go back to our tradition. Because that it hinges to the question they ask. We have to find out what was our culture. What was that tradition? He said a book discussing Jewish and Christian mythologies. You see that the Bible is a collection. When you talk about the Old Testament, it's telling you about the Jewish mythology. They are believed how the world 
started. Their belief on what the God concept means. That's what the Old Testament is telling you. That's the story. That's why all the cultures, the culture of the Jewish people, that's what you hear there. You come to New Testament. That is where the game starts. It's a collection of mythology right there. A collection of myths. You have the Roman myth. You have the Greek myth. You have a whole lot of them. Samaria and all this. Even they carry some from even ancient texts. Mix it there. Yes, yeah, human becomes. Do we have mythology? Of course. Just like I said, every other culture. There was something I raised toward the end of our program yesterday. I said, have we asked a question? When it comes to Hindu Hinduism, which we know is the main religion in India, the character they present to you that represents their deity or God looks like them because that religion is indigenous to them. When you come to Buddhism, go and look at Buddha. You don't need anybody to tell you anything. He will let you know that this is a culture that belongs to a to, to, to group of people. When it comes to Muslim and the Christian, uh, um, what is it called? Uh, um, the Old Testament, you know, Jewish uh, uh, this thing. That's where, they, these are one of the two people that you can never see any image they will give you to reflect God. They don't have image. Because they believe that God is a spirit. Because it's a spirit, nobody has seen him. So nobody can depict him. Nobody can tell what he looks like. They just believe he exists. So sustaining. Not or moreover, he lives outside his creation because which is true. You cannot be in a creation you created. You because you must have existed before you created those things. So God lives outside time and uh, every creation. I began to ask myself. We, the Hebrews, when it comes to our own religion, what is our mythology? I realize that we don't have any image that represents Chukwakikabian. Bingo. So our people were spirituality. That's what they practice. But now I begin to hear this story. Our people worship the deities. He took me there. How come our people are worshipping deities? That will take us to Old Testament of the Bible. Let's remember, when I talked about the Jewish concept, they don't have any image that represents God. But let's see whether they have deities. Again, your deities should reflect the characters in your place. Because what I'm trying to say is that I strongly believe, just that when you come to, if you come to the collection of Bible from the point of view of Christian, you will never see any image, any reflection of image in Old Testament, except, you know, like I'm manifesting in physical earth or depicting it. Even though there are places it is, I'm going to invoke them too, which is the book of Ezekiel and Revelation. But that is not about, it wasn't about God. It was about the angels. Now, which is what our or her joke or all these deities we have. They are the mis mis ministering angels. Messenger. That's what they are to us. They are messengers. They are not God. So when the white man came and translated it like we are worshipping God, it is not true because if they claim that, that they are worshipping deities, I meant to say, they are, even the Old Testament, they worship deities, though. That's what it means. But that's not the true statement. What happened that there was a, a time came, corruption came in. Mm. People wanted to hold on to something physical. Those vehicles, those vessels, what I mean by vessels, whether it is a snake, whether it is a hyajoko, which they depict, you know, depict, whether it is a AK, whether it is a mother, whether it is they were the vessels a particular spirit moves through. Because for you to appear in the physical earth and be solid, you must wear a skin. The cloth of this physical earth is called what? Skin. That is why when you go to Solomon, I'll pick it up before I finish. The book of Solomon, I think it's Songs, Songs of Solomon. 
he will tell you that all flesh are one. Whether it's the flesh of a goat or flesh of a man, all, all skin, all flesh are one. Because for any energy to be solid and be physical, he must wear this cloth called the skin. So, moving forward, I believe that thousands of years, because our people have existed for thousands, if not millions of years, they were worshipping pure spirituality. But the time came, corruption came. Because of man, we wanted to touch God. They wanted to, you know, they begin to worship those um, angels, those messengers. So let me dive in quickly and bring us what I'm trying to explain. Let's go to uh, Genesis. I'm trying to establish why people, it looks like people worship angels and they have no business doing that. And I'm going to, the other thing I'm going to bring today, I have taught many, many years ago, to let people know that what they call angel is not an angel. An angel will reflect the quality and character of your people or things that are in your place. Not this thing that telling you that angels have wings. No angel has a wing. Even according to the Bible. So quickly, without wasting much time, let it not look like I'm talking on top of my head alone. I don't like to do that. We're going to start with what? Okay, our, our sister. Let's go and I would like to... Our, yes. our sister, don't be offended that I, I know I just want to give you time because you no, know, no, no. I, I'm not, I'm coming, I, you know, uh, I love how you establish the foundation because I, that, is, that is the most important thing, to establish the foundation and I think I is quite well understood and now uh, that foundation, when people didn't pay attention, they may think that um, you are not even going to the point, but after you must have established the foundation, I begin to understand from where you are coming from, um, in as much as... Yes. I want you to still hold on, you know. I want to do it segment by segment. I want to also uh, bring our brother to hear from him. I'm still going to come back to you. I, I hope I didn't interrupt you. I know yeah, you can be able to. Quickly, let me finish. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Before you finish, let me finish laying the last foundation. Which all right. Is our evil mythology. All right. All right. Our evil right. mythology. Because I mentioned. Yeah. Let me read it. The, 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 in the evil mythology, which is part of their ancient religion. Mm -hmm. The Supreme God is called Chineke, the God of creation. Chineke created the world and everything. So, again, like I said, meteorology is the way people try to understand this force and reflect it, but it must reflect their culture. I'm going to yield now. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, thank you, our sister. Very, very concise. And um, we must get there. This is how other countries um get their land very clean and pure um i'm just um i'm bringing our brother uh to join our sister yet i think um yes um he's ringing now i just want to bring it a group call so that um after he must have laid his own foundation we are still going to come back to our sister uh these are the things we're supposed to be doing in the years back these are the things we're supposed to be doing what is that trying to ask questions trying to convert, convert ourselves together and begin to look into things that we felt that is not um, un unknown to us. Because sometimes the reason why we have some of the religious leaders today is for us, for them to let us know some of the things that are confusing to us. But um, what we have in Nigeria is a different case. They will tell you, not, don't speak, don't speak. I think, let me call our brother direct. Let me call him direct. I wanted to, I wanted to combine it with our sister. I think um, uh, our brother... I just want to do it in this way. It's not ringing, you know, network at home. Um, while it's coming, let me just uh, play you. This is um, what I have here. something to play while I get in touch
so many things have so we have we have we have encountered a lot of things we have encountered a lot of things in this struggle okay i think i played this the last time that i started our lovely sister that's making sense We know they're right, but we can't get ourselves okay, I I and And we kneel down in front of the white angel, in front of white Jesus, who we know very well Jesus Christ was not the We were systematically brainwashed. We were systematically put in the state of mind that we are in. The instructions that the missionaries were given in terms of how to deal with Africans. Remember, when they came to Africa, they found very resistant people very uh, um, well-established uh, religious um, educational systems, uh, people who were so strong that they didn't know how they could conquer Africa unless they address the issues of Africa from the core. So they set out the process of letting us believe that everything to do with black and African was bad and everything to do with white was better white and european was better we have to understand that the missionaries were given instructions on how to instruct us and how to control our minds they were taught they were told to teach us how to read but not to reason it was a systematic process specific instructions on how to handle a black person in order to get them where they, where they wanted us to be they used the same process with the slaves on the plantation where they began this process of divide and conquer lighter skinned people versus darker skinned people uh the straighter your nose versus the flatter your nose thin lips versus thick lips it was a process that we have been put through we have been trained to self-hate i use the example of religion and i use an example of myself growing up in zimbabwe the British did not come to Zimbabwe until 1896. Prior to their coming, we did not know of white color or black color. We were African. We were African. But the missionaries came in and they told us about Christianity. They told us about Jesus Christ. They told us about the angels who were white and the devil who was black. Then they turn around and say, the angels are desirable. They do the wonderful things. We must uh, aspire to be like them. And they said, oh, by the way, we may not look like this white sheet of paper. Besides, remember, they introduced the color white and the color black. We didn't have that. So we know how black looks like. We know how white looks like. But they turn around and say, the angels are white and we are white too. Never mind how we look. We may not look like this piece of paper, but believe we are white. And we represent the angels. And you're black. You may not look like this cover of my phone which is black, but you represent the devil. The devil is black, the devil is evil. We all must run away from the devil. You don't want to represent the devil. Oh, by the way, you may not look like this black piece of paper, but you're black too. Then now let's go to church. And we kneel down in front of the white angel, in front of white Jesus, who we know very well Jesus Christ was not white. Even their own Bible tells us he had crystal skin. We know for a fact that Mary and Joseph were running away from King Herod. They were told to go to Egypt. Why? Because in Egypt, Jesus Christ would blend with those who look more like him. If he was white, they would have told them to run to Europe. So we have all these obvious lies that we have been told. So for centuries, we have knelt and worshipped white Jesus and white angels and denied that which they told us represented us. So they systematically put us through a process of self-hate. It is not by surprise that we hate ourselves. We don't like each other. We don't trust each other. Understand that this has been a systematic process of criminalizing blackness, of teaching us and training us to hate everything that looks like us, and educating that the more we, we look closer to what white people do, the better off we are. So we spend the rest of our lives and the lives of our children, and the lives of generations to come if we do not do something about it. Hating ourselves, teaching our children. All right, hold on, uh, hold on, our brother, hold on. Uh, let me put you on a loudspeaker. Yes, can you hear me? 
You have brought up. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, man. You are welcome. I want to greet you, brother. Um, I just want to start thanking you for the good job you are doing for our people at home. Um, I'm very sorry that I have to be in this way, and I thank you for responding to my call, irrespective of your tight schedule. I will not try to waste, waste much of your time. I just want to begin uh, by asking you some pertinent questions because you people are the people are in the hands of affairs. You people are the ones that are taking the bullet by their head because I know as our people are in this way, as we are trying to wake them up uh, because of um, the you know accumulation of um, brainwashed by Europeans. I know they will be finding it a little bit difficult, and you will be you will be taking the insult, which is not which is normal. So without wasting time, I want to ask you because um, you are in the field. You know what we are doing is nothing but trying to go back to our road, if I'm not mistaken, to go back to our road. Yeah. To you, yeah. to you. What does going back to our root means to you? Because a lot of people want to know, now they are waking up. What next? So, what is the meaning to you? Okay, my brother. Um, greetings to everyone, wherever you are listening from. So, um, my brother, going back to our root simply means a lot of things. Yes. It means a lot of things in our society. Number one, it means going back to the truth. You know, going back to follow due process in which I am going to tell you a lot of things because Christianity really destroyed a lot of things, brought a lot of damages. You know, look at this is not political something I'm fighting as a, let me say, because Nigeria leaders, you know, the way they are fighting for political position really make people to understand that really these people are fighting for their stomach and not to save the masses. So I'm not fighting for a position to for my store or to feed my family, but I'm not fighting a selfless fight to save the masses. If Christianity is not a problem now, I mean, I will have not be stressing myself up and I'm trying to open the eyes of the brainwashed and blind ones. So going back to our rule simply means going back to going back to the house of truth, where honest prevail, where common sense technology can be applied again. Because you cannot tell me that if our ancestors of billions of years ago could be able to produce a palm wine, a, 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 a palm wine, create a system, an idea on how to tap it on a palm tree, knowing the one that will produce palm wine and the one that will produce palm fruit in billions of years ago, refining palm seed, palm fruit, refining it to oil and the Bringing out the oil you made for cooking and the waste one we call the group in our language. You cannot tell me that if our ancestors can do all this in true common sense, which is the science and technology, and we 21st century children could not even produce common plants we are putting on today to cover our nakedness. Something is wrong somewhere. And the cause of those damages are Christianity. Because Christianity has manipulated every average black man to believe in free things, free ideas, free protection, free prosperity. Prosperity, and prosperity cannot come freely. Prosperity comes from human ideology. By creating a product that people will admire to have. When you have a product, blessings will follow you. Money will follow you. Miracles will follow you. Just like in this 21st century, our ancestors in the olden days, they have a product. A product like a pot, they are molding with their common sense, creating a lot of job opportunities for them. A lot of community want to engage with them. To the extent that my mother told me that all these days the white people came and visit them where they were using molding pots with cameras. They video them, they capture them. Believe you me, nobody can explain what they use that, that picture to do. Whether from there they go and create another modern way of a pot and all this will do. We are playing now or whatever. Do you get me? Yes. Now, all the common sense are not. Can, could you imagine, brother? Going this question is short. Is is one of the best questions I have ever received. Going back to our roots means a lot of things. Mm -hmm. My brother, how can we start in 21st century whereby Christianity are telling the graduates who will be employed and who will not be employed in 21st century? A pastor and a reverend man is meant to tell a graduate in Nigeria who is going to be employed and who is not going to be employed. We are living in an era whereby Holy Spirit gives job to a citizen and people are buying that idea. Brother, going back to our roots simply means going back to where common sense exists. 
Could you know that in the olden days, when the white people are not, when the white people are abusing, creating medicine to cure their disease, they created it through what? Herbs. Through herbs. The same way, the same pattern of our ancestors followed, they use herbs as well to treat their sicknesses. We even have orthopedic doctors, which is still existing right now under traditional inherited way. How can we live in an era in a society whereby Jesus and the useless Holy Spirit or what the fuck is now a healer in the midst of black race and they are dying in what I can oh my heart is bleeding. It's okay, it's okay brother. It's okay brother. I think it is. I know. I understand. I understand. Like animals in my before me, in my presence, my our people are dying like chicken. My brother, going back to our roots simply means to clean the premature and frustration and poverty that the Christianity have installed in our society. Going back to our roots simply means freedom. Freedom. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. See, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to get back to you. I have a chief, please. Thank you, brother. Matthias, I'm still going to come back to you. You can still have one, one other questions or other experience to get from you because you're on the field. I want to, I want to, I will call you back again to know how you are feeling because I know people will be insulting you left and right. I know people will be sending you a threatening message. Uh, I know which you also your brother you are trying to save. We are going to come back to you. Uh, let me go. Let me go to chief priest. I think um, I have a chief priest here. Uh, let me see if I get you get hold of you. You said uh, you have written a lot of books uh, concerning uh, these um, issues we are bothering now. Let me see if I can be able to get you. I'm sorry that I'm doing this thing just like in a very manual way. Uh, because um, this is not job opportunity for us. Uh, I would have started designing, creating a website, you know. But we are going to do that in NS because um, we are heading somewhere. We are not here to attack individuals. We are not here to attack personalities. We are here to speak about the evil that is going on in our land. We are here to make sure that we guide our people. We are here to tell our people that there's another way to succeed. Yes, um, hi, priest. Can you hear me? Hi. I just thought about you now. Yes, I'm live. I'm on, you know I'm on a live program. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm going to come in right away now. Oh, do you want to? Are you using WhatsApp to do add people? Yes, as I'm calling you now, the word is hearing your voice. Oh, okay. Uh, because oh, you know, uh, you oh. know what you know, you know it. You don't need to go for research. You don't need to go for you know. I want to get. Yes. Yes, I want to. I want to get from your own point of view. You know, our people are waking up. Are you aware that our people are waking up? No, almost. At least we have about ten to fifteen, let's say twenty percent now, and most of them are not living in the African land. They, most of them live abroad. Okay. So that is where the problem is now. About this twenty percent live abroad that understand that um, Christianity is a scam, and we only need to push this ideology and which is reality exactly. it tends to prove that reality is a scam so now then, now home. yes now now in as much as we have discovered uh the main problem we have but people are now asking they want to go yeah. back to their root and to you okay. what does it mean to for biafrans let me use biafrans for biafrans going back to our root in other words to go back to the way our forefathers used to do things, in as much as they may be things that may not, you know, be nice in our own as presently, that we can also amend. That is why we are human. If some of the things uh, mm -hmm. we can find that is not really helping humanity, we can as well change it. So, to you, what does it mean to go back to our youth? All right, thank you for this question. I really appreciate even you remembering that I'm here today. Yes. Um, number one, your root is identifying whom you are. Okay. That's you identifying that you are an evil man. It's difficult for you to prosper. Hello? Are yes. you getting what I'm saying? The word is hearing you. Yes, go on. All right. So without you identifying whom you are, you never prosper. It's the problem we are all It's a foreign religion. Your voice, your voice is coming and going. I don't know the gadget you are using. Can you just keep it straight? Yeah, I, yes, your voice is all, all, okay. all, all. You want me to call Let, you back? No, 
No, don't worry. Let me put my earplug, the two of them. Hello? Yes, continue. Continue. You have like 10 minutes. Continue. Oh, okay. So what I'm saying here is this. It's good for we to reintroduce that I say, I, I call it revival. To revive ourselves, reclaim ourselves, not proclamation. Once we identify ourselves, we will be able to pursue sovereignty. I told Matthias Ezak one time ago in his life, one of his life broke as that. If we go to Biafra with Christianity, we will perish. So what we need to do to go and reintroduce this system, we might not be worshipping or for because there is what we call, for example, phones, laptops. White people do update it to have current mode of function. So we need to raise our method of worshipping our fathers. Unlike the way they used to worship it that day, the olden days, like when they come, they keep or keep chicken or do kind of sacrifice. We wouldn't be doing that in our generation. But when we want to pray, instead of calling the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we will call the God of, God of Igbo. We are Igbo. Igbo is a tribe, it's an identity. Identity includes our language, our tribe, our colony. Somebody swallowing a, 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 looking at that, and you will know that this man is a little man, even without him talking, isn't it? So, by we going back to tell them, mention the name of Jesus Christ is an abomination unto you. It will give you this to take to your suffering today. We have proof for that. And if you tell me that Jesus, I will bring people in my community. People are sick, heal them. So it's a kind of crusade. We have to do go out for crusade, which I'm planning. I'm planning even to go to Nigeria, but because of this uh, atrocious act of political rage, not enabling me to have that, you know atmosphere that we are can, can allow me to you know preach. But we have to go through radio station. But I comment gone already so far. That's great. And uh, we have a sport team too. I'm from Imo State. I don't know the state you're from. Are you from Abia State? So we all have to go out and sport food in radio stations, in television stations. And we will keep telling them any man that any pastor that calls the name of Jesus is an agent of Satan. Because I have a proof that Jesus is an agent of Satan. So if you are calling me Antichrist, I will accept and I will call you Satan. Because if I promise you that I give riches that have no sorrow in the scripture, and I am a healer, that when you seek, I can, by the mention of my name, you will receive healing. At the end, you die poor. At the end, when you are sick, you die, except you go to hospital. That means you are a liar. And the only liar is the subject of Satan. Am I lying? No, you are, you are correct. You are correct. Um, before, before you continue, I'm sorry for the audience. They're asking me who is speaking. Uh, they want to know who is speaking. Okay. Just introduce yourself briefly, then you round up in the next two minutes. So that I'm... Yes. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, my name is Chief Priest. I was once a, a, a pastor preaching the name of Jesus Christ. But my name is Chief Priest. I'm not CK. Okay. You was a pastor. I live in the United States. You was a pastor. Yes. I, Wait, I, I used to... Yes. Which, which, uh, yes, which, pastor. which church? in the light of the world light of the world in the united states in fact i was born in ame zion church african methodist episcopal zion church i was ordained here in that same church and then i moved to another pentecostal church reaching the same and then when i realized the church, they are almost gay both pastor members jesus christ they want to replace it with even gay. This Christ we are talking about. Mark one wife. They want to even scrap it. Say don't marry again. Be sleeping with a, your fellow. Man. So all even Baptist churches here, all of them are gay now in America. So why would I believe in all this kind of trash? So as I said earlier, my name is. 
Ichiku. I was once a pastor preaching Jesus Christ, but now I preach the God of the tribe of Igbo. Only one God. All right, brother. All right, brother. All right, brother. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Our brother said he was a former pastor. In the name, his name is Chief Priest. Chief Priest Anosike. That's what he answered now. He was a pastor. And then he saw light. He now began to... In fact, he saw evil going on in the in the congregation. And he found his way. I don't want to waste my time. I want to go back to our sister again. I want to go back to our sister. I want to go back to you. Uh, because um, I also need that uh, some people may like to call in those that are watching um our sister i'm coming to you i'm coming to you our sister yes can you hear me give me one minute give me one let me put my uh, this speaker uh, yeah give me one minute all right all right all right yeah hold on give me one minute let me put my um going coming back to you again uh because uh, uh there's something you have but uh, though that will be after the discussion on masking uh you know um the 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 what i call those that are coming to put problem among us that will yeah. be when we have concluded what you have that but i want you to i want you to that yeah i know that's what the end my friend because this thing is i'm enjoying it now i know now, um before you ask me any question i would like to jump into one or two things my previous uh the my previous speaker said okay yes those are this i want to say something where mazi mazi is a kundewo god bless you yes and the uh, the high priest god bless you too i appreciate you all but let me make this point clear the uh, the mazi uh the priest this is my own argument i don't have any problem with any religion what i'm trying to let people know that there's a huge difference between religiosity that between religion and spiritualism there's a huge difference that was why i laid my foundation god is a spirit those who want to worship god in truth in spirit must be truthful for sure because god is governed by laws not by emotions and these laws are what you call universal law what do you call it that is universal consciousness. What do I mean? In every community you go, even before mankind begins to communicate with each other, everybody knows this law. How do they get to know the law? Because they were inspired by this energy. It is called the, uh, the, 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 the golden rule. That shall not kill. That shall not commit adultery. That's all those things. The evil sound it this way. Or for no good. That is how the evil sound it. Before you do anything, it will go. They are invoking the universal laws. That is what governs the earth. That is the law of the ancient of days. That's what our people worship, the ancient people. Man began to create religion. My argument, I'm not telling anybody to forget religion, but I'm saying if you must worship God, the Almighty, you must be into spirituality. You can still embrace your religion. But know it that religion is the concept of the mind of man. It's not God. This is not my own. I want to make this argument clear. Because I want people to understand me. So having said that, that is why every religion must reflect the culture of the people. That's my own argument. Because everybody has their own culture. Don't come and tell me that my own culture is not good. No. So those who want to continue to be in religion, they can continue, but let's have our own religion that reflect our way of life. And those who truly want to worship the universal consciousness to know that they have to deal with spirituality because that's where the laws come in. That is where God will tell you, if you do this, this will happen to you. That is the law. That is what the Old Testament tried to preach to you. There is nothing like if you do this, you come in, you confess. No. That is the law of God. He established them. Now, let me go to what I said I wanted to touch on my brother, Matthias. He made a very serious and poignant argument. Our ancestors who lived millions of years back, how were they inspired? They didn't know religion. They did not practice religion. What they practiced was spirituality. And that was why I made the argument that we are two, three components as human beings. 
when your spiritual antenna is not awake, you cannot be inspired. You cannot receive from universe. So our ancestors didn't go, but they may not, may not have gone to the white man school. That is the what we call educated, educated. But they had time to worship God. They have time to think. They have time to reflect. Nature was ministering to them. That was how they were able to come up with what they came up with. They were ministered to. They were inspired. And at that time, they were not doing some of the things people are doing in the name of religion. There was, I believe there came a time when our spirituality was corrupted and people began to practice religion. I have maintained this argument. That's what I'm talking about. We, we must separate religion. Now, what do I mean by religion? Anytime you take spiritual things, spirituality, anytime you take spirituality and organize it, it becomes a religion. And once you organize religion, it's subject to error because you're dealing with collective of people. You cannot control what they do. That's how they bring in the corruption. And every corruption they bring in will affect that group. That is why if you pay attention in the ancient days, our ancestors did not have organized religion. But they understood the importance of worshiping Chukwa Kekadiyama. Every family worship God on their own. That is through the head of the family. They will come out and make sacrifices and rituals. You find it in the book of Job, chapter 1. Now let me say, I'm going to go for that because some, my, one of my brothers tried to say sacrifices. God himself will tell you in the book of Revelation chapter 13, according to the Christians, that the lamb was slain before the foundation of the physical earth could be established. Our ancestors were practicing this thing. If we can pay attention and remember, in those days before you build a house, you will kill what is called a foundation. They tell you that these people were in communication with nature. Now, even to the as I speak to you, that religion you call uh, Judaism, they still do sacrifices. They still do sacrifices. There is nothing wrong in sacrifice. It depends on what you are using. You are supposed to use only animals to do sacrifices, not human beings. I'm going to back up for you. Let's have your question. Then I can proceed. All right. All right. Thank you very much, our sister. Um, we are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. And I love um, how we being flowed uh, on planned and then things is going as as much as i can you know say um i want to also uh go back to our brothers our sister i'm coming back to you gingerly because i know i think you may be even the last speaker because we we have a lot of things that uh, we have to talk about because the france are here and at the same time at least you are in the forefront of this struggle um and i know you yourself is also you are not um you are not the person that always um care for gossiping because i uh, a lot of people might try to bring you down by talking bad about you you know we have also religious mentality following us in this struggle once they notice something that they could confront and they begin to you know begin to write so many unprinted names about somebody and begin to post it on social media now no with no no waste of no waste of time uh i want to ask you i want to ask you uh this is a, an, another dimension still on on where we what we're we going to do as we are now coming out from this disease is it most that we must hold on to is it must we'll be going to church uh, how do we i don't know whether those are our forefathers do they have a place where they congregate uh anytime they want to you know worship to go to do they have to gather people in one place or do they do it individually in their homes what is your thought about that I think I just answered it because I, at least, I know I speak fast sometimes. Yes. I just said that that spiritual, anytime you organize, you begin to organize in the name of spirituality. Yes. Now it becomes with John. Exactly. Well, you're not a, spirituality okay. should be an individual thing. Okay. It's a personal relationship between you and your God. And that, that was why our ancestors practiced. Even though they didn't say it, but everybody knew that you come up in the morning. You worship God. You look toward the Anyahu. You bring out your four. You bring out your You bring out your Oji. You go to what Kadiyama for the day. Correct. Go and find it in the book of Job, chapter one. That was what Job did. So, they, so they are not so they, they are not sowing seed. They are not sowing seed or maybe paying offering. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying because once 
once you begin to organize it, corruption will come in because you have elements of human being. They mm. begin to bring this in. When Yeshua came, whom did they call Jesus? He made this statement. He said, I did not come to change the law. I came to make the crooked way straight. The problem was that, that what they were practicing, it was the way they were, they had brought corruption in it. Go and see how the church then, the synagogue was operating. Corruption came in. People were taking bribes. All the same thing we are seeing today. The high priests were misbehaving, lying, and all the cheating. Yes. Anytime you organize spirituality, then corruption will come in. It becomes religion. You are correct. Even the Bible tells you that it's a, a personal way. When it only does it confuse you there, it doesn't mean you'll travel, but you call on your God, perform your ritual, you know, sacrifices. That's what you do. You know, but once you begin to organize it, it's gonna be a, it becomes religion. It's an organized because now you can use it as a tool, as a weapon. Correct. I got your point. Our ancestors not practice religion. What they practice was spirituality. Thank you. This is the argument I wanted. Thank, Thank you, our sister. I love I love I know I know you said it, but now it's more well and clear. I know why I asked it again to get it back again and now it's clear. Thank you very much. I'm going to come back to you, our sister. Let me go to our brother Matthias says Ako. Uh, because um, on the Gisha Wombo, not on ground. Uh, let us begin to see, hear from his own, whether is he finding it easy, even though he is trying to educate our people. Uh, let us see what is going on. Our brother, you don't need to call me, please. You don't need to call me. I'm the one that will call you. You don't just call me. I call you when I want to call you. Um, let me go to you. Let me go to you. Uh, let me go to our brother, Matthias. Let us see how is it easy for him on the job he's doing at home. Because I know... He may be trying to bring people away from their ignorance. I know he'll be facing a lot of challenges. Let us see how he's surviving it. So that we can be able to know how to fool our people. If you bring it at once, they may revolt. Oh, small, 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 small. Uh, we are going to get it right. Um, what we are seeing on the screen is just what our sister preached now. They say when they congregate, they begin to collect tithes, sow seed. Uh, that is what you see here now. This is... Um, this is tithes and offering. This is from Redeem Christian Church of God. This is from Redeem. This is from Redeem. You see? It is called number one divine sacrifice. You pay one million plus. Can be more than one million. I want to kind of abundant sacrifice. I don't know what these things are. I don't know what is abundance and the dominion. In case of dominion sacrifice, abundance sacrifice is your full month salary. Dominion sacrifice is your monthly half of your monthly salary. They didn't specify because they don't know the actual amount you are receiving. There's another one called greatness sacrifice. That one is two hundred thousand plus. Then there was a golden sacrifice. I bet was a next level, next level sacrifice twenty thousand. Nobody can care for more money. Then I there was earlier. You can sacrifice the following houses, cars, and etc. Let's go to our brother. Yes, can you hear me, our brother? Hello. Yes, brother. You're welcome. You're welcome. I uh, very gingerly. I want to. I want to get your own experience because uh, Methuselah is speaking from Western world. I know the little have started talking. I know the kind of uh, insult and at the same time threatening message. I do get. But I know it means no harm to me because I know what I'm doing. I want to, I want to ask you, this job you are doing at home now, uh, uh, are you having uh, challenges, especially from the poor people? Uh, are they, how, are you, how, uh, how are you feeling? I mean, is there any threat? Are you afraid of what you are doing? Are, are you afraid? Because I don't know whether they are threatening you. I don't know whether anything like threatening. I don't know anything like uh, challenges you are facing at home. Tell us your experience since you started this. Uh, my brother, uh, a threat, saying a threat is just, I don't know if threatening is enough to qualify what I'm passing through. Understand? Starting from my community, they appointed me as a youth leader in my village three months before I said the Bible ablaze. Mm. And uh, within that three months as a youth leader there, one of the just youth leaders we formed. We, since I was born, since Catholic and all churches have been existing in our village, we don't know what is called street light. Then under my three most leadership, I, I encourage everyone that we are going to fix 
street lights in all the major roads that list our co communities. And we started buying it, fixing it. My brother, when I said the Bible are blessed, they, they said they don't want me to lead them anymore. And the, 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 all those places now are that when after those places we stop through my leadership everywhere is darkness. Do you get me? Yes. So a lot of pressure, but I am happy that I have already stand as a man that I don't need to beg anybody for food because the business I am doing, both my transportation business and where I am selling tippers, you need me. Do you get me? If you want, if you need my my product, you know, come to me. Okay. And those who are managing my trucks, they need me to survive. I don't need them. Understand what I mean? Yes. So a lot of things, it's even small, small kids that I know that they're not up to. Uh, I don't know whether, but I don't take it as an insult because they are wandering in ignorance. I was like them as of 2015. Many of them are, one of them from Anam just called me, telling me that he's going to shoot me. That you know this time that I'll be killed. They'll be called me, probably telling me that he's from Anam and that he will kill me. Understand? So, and they, a lot of them are writing me on how I will die, how my death will be the one of the worst deaths on this planet, but I don't care. <laughs> because I was supposed to be like them as of 2015. 2015 is when I bought my first car in Kotonu, Toyota Highlander 2005. When I entered Camry from my store heading to Kotonu with the person leading me there, a year of them started accusing Mbaka for supporting Buhari and uh, condemning good luck Jonathan. I rose that against that Yoruba man. In way we are dragging the Yoruba man out even to hit his uh... Hey. Network. Network. Oh. Oh, no, no. Our brother. Network is disturbing him. Ah, uh, his network. His network problem. I'm going to call you back again. I know you'll be receiving a lot of threat from our people. They can't threaten others. It is the Uma way. Uh, let me call our brother again. The network is bad. I'm, I'm, let me allow him to round up so that I'll leave him to go. We have other things to do with our sister then before I open my line. I know a lot of people have tried to call. I see people writing the names of individuals. Uh, please, we don't do like that. Yes, continue our brother. Now I think uh, there's a... Yes, continue. Yes. So, as I was saying, even what... Hi, right. network is disturbing our brother at home. Hi, Ozu, 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 Logical Republic, Owo Tanade. Network is disturbing our brother. I don't know why he's like that of, out of a sudden. I'm also going to call a foreigner. I'm going to call a foreigner so that let me also know what they take their religion in their own country. I don't know why, Matthias here, uh, the line is, uh, the line is shaking. The line is, the line is wobbling. Network is disturbing. I call you for the last time. I call you for the last time. Metisola is going to up this game. I think I'm going to up this game. I'm going to take this in serious. Not just only speak. Speak, speak. You have to put it in practice. You have to put it in practice. Our ideology must be put in practice. Our brother, the, the network is bad. Network is bad. Let me... Let me allow this thing to roll before... What are we fighting? I don't know. When people say fight, what are we fighting? Uh, this, this church issue. This church issue. Which part of, uh, which, part of the, which part of the church issue is a problem for you? Which part of it? Uh, what? Uh, this of a Jesus issue or church issue. Let us promote our nation and get our nation. Then on constitution, we will know what will remain and what will not be there. His credit has finished. I wanted him to stay so I can address him. I don't know if some of you understand what we are doing. You don't understand what we are doing, do you? You went to war before and you failed. Have you asked yourself, why did I fail? Biafra is the kingdom of heaven. Are you aware of that? So you want to put the Kabiyama to call down his kingdom from heaven to come to earth where men are afraid to speak the truth. 
Is that what you think? Oh, you need it. As I said before, Biafra is the last miracle. You are about to be surprised. Any evil we see will bring it to the fore. We can't get it. Let me repeat. Any evil, your job, we come across, we expose it. I asked you a simple example. I asked for a simple question for you to give me an example. What is the meaning of the word Jesus? Don't answer me. Go to your reverend father and ask. I don't want to be at the helm of affairs of a people who are afraid of critical reasoning. Critical reasoning. If you are at the front line and the Kumi calls you on the phone, you are a chorister at Deeper Life. Or say the Holy Spirit said to me to ask you to live there. Would you live as a general overseer? If tell you, that is why we need to remove the veil of ignorance of religious superstition away from what we are doing so that you develop rational common sense. Mm. Why do you think that Britain got away with the mess that they committed? Nobody took them to court for killing their friend people. Because of Anglican Church. Because you go for synod in England. The catechist, the, the, the archbishop that gives you instruction is from England. How can I take him to court? Wishy washy sentimentalism. I said in the end, we are going to triumph. And then you worship Chukwu Kikabia, in truth and honesty. They think we are joking. I said to Chukwu, he said yes. I said, are these your children? He said yes. He said, come bring them back to me. That's exactly what we are doing. Hold on there. Hold on there. Um, hold on there. Our brother, the network is disturbing. I think I'm going to leave you. I want to thank you, our brother Matthias. The network is worrying. The network is too bad. I've gotten their message. At least the most important thing is what does the going back to our root meant? Uh, in summary of what our people have been saying here, it's all about to be of good conduct to humanity. It's just to love your neighbor. Just be good to your people. Always know what is the right to do. Just on the river one number also in summary be a brother housekeeper help the needy all these good values when we are going back to our root we don't want you to go and mood another thing and start be maybe mood something in the name of uh, your your own god like our sister explained what we practice is a form of spirituality you don't see what we are holding on to that is where that is why there's nothing like congregating people together and begin to ask them offering and tithes. Our brother, I want to thank you. If I get your call again, I will answer. But I want to thank you for trying to, you know, I know you have been on your way, like you said, and you still find a way to come in here. Thank you very much for that. I want to make it this thing clear to everybody that are here. Some of you, some of you do have a call top pilot. You know, am I any, any, any way, state by state? Some of you that don't want to speak the truth. Some of you want to bring the Red of State in what we're doing. Some of you that call me and begin to lie to me that this is what the Red of State said. I have watched that program, watch it often and on, and I, I knew and at the same time got where they gave us instruction not to bring autopilot in our midst. Methuselah Seller has been a very, you know, I've been of good conduct to this struggle. I remember when Nelly wanted to come into my platform. And I know how much I would have gotten from the person that contacted me. But I make it open here. Some of you said, don't go. Some of you say go. But I know that the majority advised me, Metro, don't go. And I think I also get instruction from the leadership. I never brought that woman in my platform. And this time around, what we are speaking is the truth. They gave us instruction not to bring autopilot in our midst. And we are going to adhere to this instruction. For the case of speaking the truth, speaking evil that is going on in our land, we must. We are helping this situation. So many of you that are running around trying to bring, trying to drag the letter to say what we are doing. Um, I'm very sorry for you. Uh, like I said, if you don't like what we are doing, you can block yourself. I tell you, I don't have a permanent friend in this life. That's how life is. Me and you may be friend today. We will become a hardened enemy tomorrow. Uh, you know they give me food. I know they give you food. So why we should be bothered over each other? Now, our sister, I'm going to call you. I know we have. Uh, I, I want to. I want you to go down to this now, because this is also one of the topic I have here. Uh, please, I know. I know you have a lot, our sister. Uh, I, 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 I believe. 
and I'm hoping in earnest that your own program will be an eye opening. I will continue to support it uh, so that we can be able to wake our people up. We need many hands. They say many hands make a light work. One person cannot do the job. Our brother Matthias Ezak uh, have started it on ground and have some charitable way of helping people. You know, our people will help them. Some of them are maybe ingrate. Some of them may even help them. They will come to you and tell you, God will help me. The, the, the God of choosing help me through you. The God of choosing. So sometimes when you see them suffering, I don't know. Let me let me not speak ill about them, but I know it's ignorance. We are going to continue waking them up. I'm going to go back to you, our sister. Um, I want to play a clip for many of you that may know about this. That's one of our brother. I will, let me call him our brother for the first time, even though I don't see him as a brother. One of our bumbling brother in America. He's going around so many platforms, buying people over to come and speak ill about their fellow. Because somebody talk about Jesus. Like Methuselah born the Bible. Very proud of it. So many of you ran away from me, which I'm not regretting. If I still see it again, I will burn it. Because um, I would today could not burn our ancient artifact. And I won't get it. So, one, this our brother went to a platform and begin to castigate those that are working. Begin to cost our ancestors, which is not a problem, like we said, freedom of speech. But many of you may not know the genesis. And that is what we are going to look into now. Let me see if I can be able to... Uh, let me play it so that many of you will recognize what I meant and that today I will stop talking about this. Today will be the last day I will speak about this. Why am I showing it? So that many of you may know, will know where the problem started. Because sometimes you will go to a platform. You started hearing you know, about what people are saying. You may think it's from that place it started. You never know the origin of that. Let's go. I think I have it here. Let them come sit together and let them debate me on this religious matter. And let us have a, let's have a, this debate. I'm longing for this debate. My Methuselah, that baboon, even, even baboon Methuselah, oh, they would nonsense every time we put on the media. This guy is more conscious. He has no conscience. He has no respect. He has no, I'm glad you are able to play the, the voice of our leader where he quoted the Bible. I'm a Christian. I believe in the word of God. I believe in Bible, the scriptures. So, if my fellow brother don't believe in the Bible, fine. I don't have a problem with it. But have respect for me. Because I respect you when you worship your goat, okay. or you worship your cow, or you worship your monkey, or you worship your baboon. I have respect for you. But don't come and denigrate my religion or my belief system. This is where we have a problem. I want you to send a message again to the leadership to stop this foolish man now. Now, I read you before this Jonathan. I'm I'm not careful of the, on my words. I'm very I'm very sure of my words. I'm not careful. Is not Jonathan Chinedu, Mary Hannah, this the two face Canada and Australia, this Metusela. All also people need to put a stop this thing. When we, if, if they come out and create more problems, I will mobilize every, every Christian in Biafra, in Biafra uh, movement, in IPOB movement, and I will see how many of them will stand. They better stop this nonsense as soon as possible. Or they are all, 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 all unknown. <laughs> so, I don't, I, we don't take these things, things like this serious. If they say they will mobilize the Christians in this struggle, <laughs> so... Many of you, if you come here and write something serious, I block you. We don't take these people serious. <laughs> so, um, we don't take them serious. Our Ambula and our Arabo Rouser. So, our sister, I'm going to bring you in because uh, I don't know how this thing started. I think you are, you are going to let us know. Our sister, let's continue doing with this slide. It's very clear. At least you have spoken quite well today, and uh, there's no problem in the line. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you have heard what I played, and um, I hear their name. They are, I don't know. Do you have a problem with this, our brother? Um, you know, saying uh, uh, ill about those that have been working assiduously for the restoration of Biafra. I don't know. For me, I have no problem whatsoever with anybody. Uh, anybody I want to take it personal, I should take it personal. So, what do you have to tell us? Because I think I hear their name. 
Uh, yeah, I had my name, and it's not the first time you invoked my name. First of all, I want to thank you for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Because I felt it is needed to be said, and so that we can put this foolishness Donald is purporting, carrying my name everywhere. I need it to come to a stop. So before I proceed, I want to use this opportunity to give a notice, to notify the leadership and the whole Biafrans in general what has been going on behind closed doors. I didn't want this thing to come out in the public. I have tried to manage it. How did I? I have reported Donald to our central um, coordinator, Mr. M. M. Mado, three times to tell Donald to say, please leave me alone. Stop taking my name everywhere. I'm going to sum up this way, what I'm about to share with us. Donald is like is just a man that feels that somebody slighted his ego and he made up his mind to mess with me. But I want he doesn't know something, even though I told him he didn't believe me. I have the four aces. My name is not Nelly, my name is Marian T. Hyder. That's the reason why you pay attention to what I call myself. My name is Marian T. Hyder. So let's go for this. Before I proceed, my brother, mm -hmm. I believe there was um, a, a voice note I sent you that begged you, I begged you to please see your platform for me to share this. And sometimes, you know, our people are, some people are so stupid. There's a reason why I came to this fight. And I'm going to tell, please give me time because I need to let people understand everything. That's, I didn't come to this fight out of emotions. I didn't come to, my, uh, to uh, this restoration because I'm, not, I'm looking for something to do. No. I did not come in here because I had my this voice. No, I'm not saying that my this voice is not charming, but that's not the reason. I didn't come to this fight because somebody ministered to me. I came to this fight because I was directed to come in. And at the time I was asked to come in, I was confused because I was not even listening to Radio Biafra. I didn't know there was anything like that. Even though my own brother, before some of my parents, who lives here in Bowie, tried to get me to into Biafra agitation because he knows my personality. He told me that if I go there, I can help them. I said, no, I don't want to get into this because yeah, yeah, evil things that, you know, they're always bringing confusion in their thing. So when my attention was called into this, I questioned it. I was told, everything belongs to God. Every secret thing is only been revealed to those who are called according to the purpose. This was three or two or three months before Maggie was extraordinary rendition. I had no idea that Maggie had even been arrested before. I had no idea that anybody was looking for Maggie. That's how innocently I came to this thing. At that time, I was more of an observer. I was watching because I wasn't sure why I should get into Biafra agitation issue. The only person I was going to this platform was Maazini. I was a master prophet. And the only thing that took me there was because of the Omer Latin. You know, that was my attraction. So I was talking to him on his platform. I was watching his platform, you know. So moving quickly, that's how all this nonsense started. So two or three weeks into the, three months into my uh, beginning to pay attention to Biafra, my idea was a arrest, uh, extraordinary rendition. So, um, Achalugo, she, she can bear me witness. The day the Maji was, that period, my, that few days Maji was arrested, she was making a program. And I commented there, I said, I saw this thing in my dream a couple of months ago. If anybody can go, there's a, a voice, uh, there's a, um, a program Mazi did, Mazi Ahamadike one man. He did that program and he was, talk, where he was talking about, you play it all the time, where he was talking about that. If anybody messes up now, they will arrest the person. They will, they will, no, they will get rid of the person. But before they get rid of that person, that they were going to make sure there's somebody on the ground to apprehend that person. Mm -hmm. That's when I started watching Mazi. So as much as he made that thing, because by then I had already had the information to join the, this thing, I wrote, I can't remember whose platform, because at that time I didn't know anybody. But the a particular platform, I went there and wrote, 
You, my Isaac, that is speaking, you have to be careful how you receive your phone calls. Okay? So when this thing happened, I came on a, or a charugo and I said, I saw this thing in my dream. I called my master prophet because I used to talk. I said, you know, I saw this thing. So now, again, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Marian T. Heider. I am a spiritualist. There's a reason why I have been quiet. I did not come into this fight to explain or to showcase myself. People that know me, know me. I have been a broadcaster. The person that gave me the platform, he discovered me. An Asian man, Haiti, a man from Haiti. He's a minister. He had me speaking somewhere, he gave me a platform. If you Google my name, you will see me. That's when I was coming out from Christianity, dabbling with the Jewish religion, before I got into spirituality. That's, you will see me, 2017, I was heavily uh, broadcasted in, until my health became heavy for me. I almost died. So I told him, the guy is still waiting for me today. I told him, let me go and take care of myself. I will come back to continue with the broadcast before I was called up to come and do this thing. So quickly, um, this is how all these things started. I brought myself in. I told my master prophet, you know, do a other thing. And then when Mazi was extraordinary rendition, I came in, I read, that was when it became obvious to me, my job, what I was supposed to do for Biafra, the restoration of Biafra, Mazi's issue and all that. That's how I came in. I'm a spiritualist since my childhood. I don't talk about it. It's not why I'm here. I don't talk about myself because that's not why I'm here. I'm here for a particular purpose. That is, it has to do with Biafra. So having said that, how did I meet Donald? That should be the question. How did yes, I come yes, that's, that's, that's what I'm, I'm that's interested why. to know, yes. Yes, yes. I met Donald that time I was, uh, the least saga was going on. Remember as I established, I was speaking, I was going uh, to Master Prophet's platform to contribute. He would always call me, I'm doing, con can would you like to come and contribute? One name, why? That's why he calls me. I would say yes. So one of the occasions, that was, uh, if you recall, it was on your platform, Mazi, that I, I began to diagnose nearly for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of the things I part of the things I do, I'm a profiler. I am a need, I'm a mental health professional. Among other things I do, I have multiple caps, but I'm not here to talk about myself. So when I saw the behavior of Nelly, as a mental health professional, I was I was it, and that was why I was able to design what was going on. So I said it on your platform. Then Master Prophet saw me there and wanted me to come and give an in-depth analysis of what was going on with Nelly. When I came that day, I didn't know they had another guest that was supposed to come on, for, on, on online, and that's Donald Azubike. So as I was doing my own analysis, he was barging in. He, he, was, he was on video, he was barging in. So, you know, there's a way my life is. At the time, I told uh, Master Prophet, I, I, I have to go. I left. After the whole this, I called Master Prophet. I said, who was that individual? He was so rude. So he explained him, blah, 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 blah. That was it. Because I'm not, I can't give too much details. I'm just going to say something that's important. That was it. I never had contact with him again. So now, let's go to the main thing. Sometime, um, let me pull up my phone. Sometime in May, Last year, the Dr. Tina, you all know Dr. Tina. Uh, Dr. Tina, that you know, oh, we know her. So, Just Dr. Tina, her. Yes. Dr. Tina uh, I started speaking with her. So, Dr. Tina was like, um, in the conversation, I told her that I want us to, I said, I have a project. I, um, one of the projects I want, I said, I'm looking for information because I am angry that nearly. And though you both walk into Maryland, walk into USA, uh, Biafra USA, and did what they did. I said, I want to get them. So I was looking for information. So one day, uh, Dr. Tina called me. If she's listening, she can call in and be a witness. I don't know where she is, but I'm just, you know, I know what I'm saying. So I said, Dr. Tina, do you, she called me one day and said, listen, I have somebody who is interested, who may want to do this project with us. I said, Dr. Tina, I love to, I love to work as a lone uh, wolf. When I'm doing this kind of job I do, 
that's the profiling, I like to work alone. Because every information you give you, you every information you have to control the information. And anything you tell a second person is no more secret. She said, No, 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 this person is passionate. We we, we planned for a meeting. I'm looking at my phone now. I think the whole thing started around May, either April or May, because everything I'm going to say, I'm going to be back. So she called me, put us on a three way line. It was Dr. Zubike. I pretended I never, because I don't you know. I told, even in that meeting, I didn't say anything, I didn't say, act like I knew him or like I met him before, like I, you know, like I met him once on Master Prophet of the platform. So it was Dr. Zubike. So we introduced the topic. Um, that was why I said, you know, I don't know. Let me see. Hold on. You don't need to. Um, you don't need to tell the date. Just continue flowing. Uh, continue flowing. I just want no, to. No, no, see. it's not the name. It's not the name. I have to play some voice notes so that I can make my argument. You know. So when this thing started. Okay. So I don't know whether you can hear this. Hey, Doctor Yeah, it's coming out. Yes. Can you hear this? Can you hear this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me start afresh. Hey, Dr. Tina, Dr. Zubike. How y'all doing? Been a little while. This is Marian here. Because I've not heard from anyone, especially Dr. Zubike. I'm really using doing this to indict. <laughs> to indict Dr. Zubike. Seriously, yes, I am. Because. Dr. Azubik, if you can recall, the last time we spoke about this project, you told me that you have some documents that was furnished to you by Mazi Ezeichi. And I advise that you forward the um, document to Dr. Tina and I so that we can look at them and see the richness of them and see whether things we can and confirm the authenticity and the valuability of them so that on our own we can um, use it to pursue what we want to achieve because from the inquiries you made when we discussed the money the private investigators we are asking are just too much you know unattainable from my perspective I even sent you my email address. I haven't heard from you since then. You have not punished anything. And as nature will have it, Nelly has even given us more ammunition to bury her. With this her nakedness, you know, flying all over the social media. I don't think any employer will like or will see this thing and then retain the individual or hire the individual. Which is our, you know, one of our main our focal point was to stabilize her when it comes to like getting a job or something, put her in a state of uh, confusion. Because I, I, for one, believe that the one of the way I pray for God to fight my enemies is to keep my enemies busy. Because when your enemies are busy, they will not have time to plot and strategize how to fight the individual. So God has given us a very, very strong, if you ask me, a nuclear bomb to and he led this woman. So, and even when I discovered, again, when I talked with you, Mars, you said that if we go through the documents you have, and when we are, uh, you know, confirm them, that we keep them, that you even will be willing to write the petition and submit it to the appropriate quarters. But I know we all are busy, you know, dealing with graduations and all that. Again, congratulations to your son and daughter's graduation. But I know we're all doing a little with that. That is why I kind of kept quiet a little bit. But I mean, it's like that face is over. What are we doing? I am the job I brought in the show. Let's go. We have everything we need now. Even this handicapness is enough for us to jumpstart the ball rolling. Anyway, you all have a wonderful weekend. I'm waiting for reactions. See what we want to do. Or are we no more interested? God bless you all. Mara, you know. Okay. Um, so hold on, this, hold on, hold on. I, 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 just one moment, one moment. I, I that's one thing yeah. I'm looking for. I want you to go straight to the point. The contact with him, you know. Uh, I I know all these things are there for us. I can, you can as well. I think I have them. I can begin to anybody. We are not doubting you. We are not doubting what we are saying. I want to because um the reason why I want to hear from you is that um 
I want to because I I don't think that he um, he will just start calling your name or just like that. That must okay, be. No, yeah, no, I just no, want, I want to know. To, you know, no, no. To, you know, my brother, yeah, this, yeah, when I say this, because the reason why I came into contact with Donald is this project. I know. We I are know, trying I know. to. Yeah. So let's very move forward. So as the project, what happened? That this project could not go move forward because I laid foundation for them that I don't want anybody to talk about this project. It's supposed to be secret until we execute it. But as we have not even confined, we have not even done anything. He went on the Kenga's platform and spilled the base about the project, called out the name of the project and everything. And immediately I called Dr. Tina and said, I cannot be part of this project. That when I do these things, I don't like people to know what I'm doing. I have a couple of projects I'm doing for Biafra. They are top, they are serious that my life can even be taken. So now, so, so that's now, why I, do the I know, now, now. So, where, where do you so have I'm a problem there, with you? I'm going there now. Yes. Then I'm going there, wait. I've laid the foundation. So it come a time, as I backed off, he started talking to me, you know, he started calling me, darling, I said, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not here to date anybody. I'm not going to date. I called Dr. Tina and told Dr. Tina, I said, look at this, what this man is doing. So Dr. Tina and I were laughing. I said, I'm not here for this. I'm not interested. To, uh, like, I'm going to come out to tell the bed. Let me go forward quickly. So at the end of the day, what happened was, I made him to, un uh, I said, listen, there's a reason why I don't want to date anybody. One, I am not feeling well. I have been sick for more than 20 years. Trying to take care of myself. So, and the way I'm healing myself is a spiritual way. Because of that, I'm not okay. communicating with any man. Okay. I don't want to have any relationship with anybody. He didn't believe me. I said, okay, on May last year, as he was putting pressure on me, remember this guy invokes Christianity, or he said, he said, I have every note here. He said, you don't have time. I have every note. Yeah, don't worry, don't so, worry. I'll just grab you. I was not recording. Listen, I was not recording him. All. These are things. These are things. These are what I have are the things he sent to me. I, I didn't record him because I don't record people. I don't have time for that. So what happened was, as he continued to put pressure on me, Last year, last year, even there was somebody I called. She may be on this program because I saw the footprint. He started chasing the girl. I can tell how he moves. <laughs> I called the young lady. Said, "If I don't have him talking to you, don't pay attention to him. He's a liar. If she's both the law, she will say she will identify her. I don't want to call her name. So, but moving forward, so I told the and I said." I, let me, sh I'm, I'm not, it's not about you, it's not personal, you know, it's not personal, but this is a decision I have taken, because the way I'm getting my treatment is a spiritual way, I don't need anybody to preach me about God, I don't need anybody to preach me about uh, religion, I'm on my own, so I decided to meet with him May last year, that was the only time I met Donald in person, and I told a gas station, when we got there, because when I'm saying this, there are certain things that uh, Ikenga is saying, and I know he's the one feeling Ikenga with his fallacy. So I got there and said, listen, I showed him pictures of what I was before. And I showed him pictures of what the sickness did to me. And so you met, you met, met Donald, him, our sister, you met Donald, is that what you are telling us? Yes, no, I met him once. Okay, okay. At that show. <laughs> yes. Because I wanted to let him know that it's not about you, I'm not, because you are saying, oh, I should let God myself, I should not worry. I said, no, you don't understand what I'm saying. I'm not into religion, and the method I'm getting my healing, okay. you will not tolerate it. It's, you cannot take it. So let me show you who I really are. So when I met with him, I showed him my pictures before, which he has some of them, and I showed him the picture of what the sickness did to me. Okay. And I showed him where I am. Then I said, this is the method that healing me. It's a spiritual method. I said, I don't want anybody to tell me I'm doing voodoo. Mm. That is why I have selected myself. They're healing me with herbs and roots. And some of the things they're sending to me, they're sending you through spiritual means. So that's why I have selected myself. I don't want anything to do with anybody. Even as I was talking to him, he was trying to touch me. I said, don't touch me, don't touch me. Because he was in a dark station. I said, don't touch me, don't touch me. After that, I left. Ah, yeah, he, you know, he will call me. Sometimes he will stop. He will say, oh, I have your name on the... Um, on, anytime he hears my name on broadcast, he will call me. He said he's excited about my brain. I said, forget about my brain. I said, that was why I showed you what this sickness did to me. I could be sick again. 
I could be sick. So I don't need anybody that will like me because of trivial things. But moving, the, moving forward, what triggered this one? When I made that statement, Donald did not come there because he was defending Jesus. Because even that day I met him, I told him my stand. Even I fucked up Jesus there many times. He did not say anything. I had them on my voice note here. Donald sent me, a, I have information here, where another woman talked about him. He sent it to me, where the woman was accusing him that all he does in America was running from one place to another, you know, going to hotels and sleeping with women. I have it here. He sent it to me. So even if I'm crazy, why would I go out with somebody like that? That I was asking him, do you really know what you sent to me, the documents you sent to me about this woman that you did? The woman is somewhere in D.C. or Virginia. I have the voice note. You don't have the time. But to make it short, so now, after I made that statement, we met in a meeting in the United States here. Okay. He came after me. One brother called Brother Jude. You will know him. He lives in America. His, the, man, the brother started fighting him. Asking him, why are you doing this to her? Why do you want to embarrass her? What you're doing is not about Jesus. You're just targeting her. So my other member was able to separate the whole issue. Mm. After that, you know what he's doing? He'll be going from platform to platform. Trying to use somebody like Mazi uh, Ikenga. Uh, um, that was why I told you to play that uh, lesson. Because that thing, that the voice note you played was, I was going to New York to go visit my daughter. Okay? I know, yeah. So... That was when I had it. So I called Brody Kenga. I said, Brody Kenga, please, with all due respect, I think you're fighting a war. You don't know the beginning. Mm, mm. What, what this man is coming to your platform to do has nothing to do with religion. It's me. So I said, please, can you send me your platform so that I can come and address it? I sent you the voice note. And Brody King, I finally, when he answered to me, he was trying to ask me what was the problem. I said, I don't want to tell you the problem because I don't want my words to be twisted. I said, I am going to come out on public and explain to people, just leave me alone. I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not about you. It's not about you. It's about my life. I've been living for a long time. I'm not priding myself. This is just a decision I made because of my health, which I'm coming to talk about. You know, he thought by going to uh, Ikenga and tell Ikenga that, uh, oh, she does voodoo. I have a book to write. My family have been urging me to come and tell my story. I went through hell. Even if anybody will pay attention to me when I speak, I'll be telling you that I have been sick, that I was 95% dead. I mean it. I have a book to write. I have a story to tell. Because my story will help people. Even I have helped a couple of people in the midst of this, my problem. Because people that saw me got sick. People know me in America here. People that saw me before I got sick, people that saw me after I got sick, people that saw me that I'm getting well now, they're asking me, how did you get your help? And I'm helping them through the same thing. So to call the long story short, what is the uh, uh, Donald do? The only thing I can say, the mistake I made this time, because I stopped talking to him after he called me, called me since September. I have never picked up his call since September last year, I never picked up his call. So January this year, you know, I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate all these things. The only thing I try to get involved is New Year. So New Year this year, I, I send a mass message like Happy New Year. I believe I sent it to you. If Donald can produce the that message I sent to him, it's the same message you received. I sent it to everybody that is on my platform because I constructed the message. Immediately, he called me. Hey, darling. I'm glad you remembered me. I have it here. I ignored him. He sent me a text. I ignored him. So now he gets mad. Mm. Because I did not react to him. Mm. What did he do? He fought me at a meeting. Then he came and put me on a, on a, on a um, um, group. Uh, I was lying down in my, in my house here. The next thing in the morning, the next thing I had that some, you know, my phone rang like a, there were a group of people. And I picked up the phone and it was fair, it was on um, video call. I said, who is calling me on a video call? First of all, I thought it was uh, Mazi, okay, for it. I said, who is calling me on a video call? Nobody was, this time I'm telling you that every time, people that were there will let you know. I said, leave it, you know, everybody was quiet. So I got mad. Immediately, John has gone up and started saying, I don't know, like I said, don't ask. Why are you putting me in a video call? Why are you calling me? I told you to leave me alone. 
He started cursing me. He started cursing me. So I hung up. Call my dear man, Madu, immediately. Even I'm telling you, I get there. I call my dear man, Madu. I say, my dear man, Madu, please, can you tell Donna to stop contacting me? I'm not interested. Uh, I have never been interested. Our sister, our oh, sister, you, our sister. Yeah, I'm sorry yeah, that I'm going to. Yeah. I, I love, I think I have gotten the point. This is a love affair. This is a people that are pursuing, you know, I understand you. Uh, I don't want, uh, I, I don't want you to continue. At least have the Biafrans are listening, uh, me, myself, particularly. No, I know no, that. My brother, I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not going to go to the solid details. All I'm trying to say is this. Yes. Why I'm doing this is today. To publicly put him again on notice because I don't know whether my member is telling you what I told him. Leave me alone. I'm I would, not I will, I will send the message across to him. Thing. I will send the message across to him. I am very glad. I really am glad because you know they dragged me into this now. They dragged me into it. I did not come mm. into this. I did not come into this despite to sleep with anybody. I made it plain to him. At I'm all. Not interested. At all. I, I know. I'm, a, I'm an easy. Our sister. Our sister. Our sister. <laughs> our sister. Uh, I very. I, I thank you for this. You have done a lot in this. I think you. You have done justice to this. I know there's a lot of things to say, Listen, but at when least. I when I finish, let me say it publicly now to people. I didn't want to come and say this. When I finish, my, some of my works can only be revealed when my day comes out. All right, that's that, that, that's some what I want to hear from you. Yes. Be, hold on, I'm coming. Some of my works will only be exposed and revealed when Biafra comes. Some of my works may never be revealed until I die. That's how sensitive some of them will be. Thank you. Very what much. I'm doing for Biafra. Thank you. Very so much. I'm not here for any foolishness. Mm -hmm. I don't have time. Thank you. Donna, please leave me alone. I will let him know, our sister. Go anywhere with you. I'm not interested. But I'm going to make a, a personal program for myself where I'm going to step, showcase everything. It's okay, our sister. It's a bastard. I don't want you it's to okay, have. Bastard. It's okay, our sister. Thank you, very, thank you very much, our sister. Uh, when I'm holding on, it does not sense. I'm blocked. Some of you, uno ga, uno, somebody will come in here to try to explain to you. How did his name or her name be dragged around social media? You'll be here, be talking. I thought I want to come and listen to important If the person didn't come to explain his or herself, or who knows, apparently, I got it somewhere. All these people in America, when I'm not studying, the woman told you, I'm not interested. I'm going to polygamy. How can you know that now we don't need polygamy? Why are you hearing me? Hmm? The Christians, they say one man, one wife. Mm -hmm. right? Christianity, one man, one wife. Oh, who knew the Christian can I condemn here? No, even. I know that this is, I know that guy is a very, is a, is a, I saw him here. I bought a camera on social media, doctor. I'm not going to go, no go. All this, I'm not going to America again. Uh, women are uh, women uh, I'm not women across uh, America. There's a lot of women in America. The woman are going to say, I am not interested. He got your nose. Oh, he's a moon. Yeah, Boba Tagana, Boba Tago go around and I see our people are wicked to their fellow Biafras. So, what by your sister? I'll tell him. Hehehehe. Why do you smell the wire? We don't want to have this trouble. Hehehehe. Before he moved down, Okonama. Hehehehe. Because of woman, again, I drag him at this like into this. Ask him, get a camera this boy. I brought me here. No. I didn't call his name. Okay, because even I'm not the woman that I'm not. No, no, that's it. A little bit one. Hmm? You never marry. This is one thing I want to advise many of you that are here. It's a lesson. If you're into this struggle, face the struggle. Sometimes, if you love some, if you at least it's good for us to be looking after our women or normal. But take a take a step forward. Age our sister I used to preach it here last time. You want any likely? You may approach. Or what that now? I'm not interested. A higher because all this sincere to you. Oh, you got your water. Now your salary. You move. To the extent to get your go on a gas station, what would you have? Keep up with the gas station. I will break it. You want to talk about 
You go on a gas, gas station or one man, which is me, you I hope you are here. I hope you are here. In America. I get warm here. You know they call me. On your day, no sense here. Okay, you get joined now. You know, on your particular problem, you know, we are gossiping. But you know, we could, we are not part of Like some of you are writing here. And Matteo, please don't stop fighting with the this person. Please, we need many of you. Do I tell you that I'm fighting anybody? Have you ever come here? You see me mention the name of our media warning. Have you ever heard it in my mouth before? Have you ever come to this platform? Now, now, one hour. Oh, good. I got that. I guess I dare here and they attack here. Some of you are uh, autopilot infiltrated in these guys. Either he just started there. And Matthew, please, I don't want this fight between you and this person. You people should stop this. You are just embarrassing us. So that can we keep your. Yeah, ma, I don't know what you are playing. Maybe after we can better respond. Why? Oh, yeah, go there and I go to him. Why? Don't you see what he's talking about me? I can't carry another stage. I've never in any way in this platform call anybody name in my platform. Oh, no, 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 they fight on yourself. Say we they, we they fight each other. Go and check yourself. Now you they fight yourself. No, be Methuselah. Methuselah is have no problem with anybody. Look at what I'm wearing. If I, if I hate this thing to the core, if it is you, that I hate that they're doing this. I will not wear this thing now. This is not. I combine it. This is a priest clothes. Yeah, we in the father. I will have touched it, but I know this is just doesn't mean anything. I'm not fanatic. I combine it with the indominal. Kill women, I kill can can do I will not want to take life so serious. This life is nonsense. If you want to know the meaning of life, go to burial ground. If you stand there, you begin to look straight. You see corpses. You see graveyard and there. You see graveyard and there. Ilanya, many of you that are living in Australia here, they have one of the biggest cemetery. Ilanya like this. Ah, he can have grave, 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 grave. And you now remember that one day you'll be there. What are you killing yourself? What are you strong? What are you dragging? You want to fight? Why are you still fighting? Extremists, you stay off this struggle, my brother, I tell you. If you are an extremist, both to religion or both to traditional, I'm power sellers of Jesus for for our news. Now I brought Jesus. Give give power. Governor, governor online. Eh, the US governor warned these people before you know it. Don't have palette their microphone. And eh, we don't want this war. It will bring division among us. Eh, these people should stop this thing they are doing. Eh, the leadership is supposed to talk to them. If not, this struggle is going to divide. Listen. Listen to it here before I open my line. These are the things we said. Look at here. Look at here. Look here. Look at 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 here. Look Go and sit down. Let me play this voice of Mazen Namrikan. What he told us. Also, you could that thing. You know, baby, you know, all good to me. You have to do that. Rash, you have to do that. 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 Anyway, debate. We must learn how to debate with one another. And you say we should stop. Unna, unna, so kind of like, yeah, we will be the way here now. Was it a kid? Adam, he made a prophecy. Even now, prophecy will somebody will die, will not die. We are not the same at all, at all. But religion brought a tension to come and confuse us. If you say your people say, please don't do that, don't talk about religion. Who is the person? What is the person to me? Because this has been the person that's talking about. Why? That is the root of your stupidity. That is why your stupidity is anchored. That is. Ah, on your mind. You must be out. You must be out. You taught us how to be fearless. You taught us not to be gossipers. You taught us how to confront issues without minding propaganda. They have lied so many things about Mazen Namikana. They say he, he's sleeping with the women in the hotel. 
Kadimana, Kadimana slide her back. They say you are insulting us. The way you are insulting the religious leaders. Of the Prime Minister. We look at how he's embezzling money of IPOB. For where? So we learn from him. Ask who who said that? Who say, who said we should not talk? Who, who, who be that? Who is the person? Who, who are you? Who is the person doing? Mm. He's coming up, he's coming up for sure. Why? What? That is the root of your stupidity. Right. That is where your, your stupidity is anchored. That is the beginning of your ignorance. Your hopelessness. Why you don't have running water? It's because of that. If you ask me, I'll put it to you. Well, they give you no sense. They give you rubbish and you're running around. I'm <laughs> 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 Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? We are continuing from where you stop in this regard. Every song dog, I will purely on region. I may reduce it the way I, I come out online. We have finished our job. What we're now is really on release mass and the can and then to begin to encourage obedient people to do something. I think that's a two task now. I hear that our brother has been kidnapped. I saw so many things, you know, people are writing. Uh, we have a lot of kidnaps. I mean, our brother being missed. I think we are going to tweet that we are going to do the, the, the little we could. But I know everything lies in the shoulders of our legal team. And at the same time, to be going to Biafra meetings and doing what they are doing, not just only online. That is why we encourage our brothers um, who are in Western world, who have access to be going to meeting. And um, it will help us a long way, please. And our brothers in Lagos, um, we urge many of you uh collectively to find your way home and begin to demand for a betterment of your own environment uh, i'm going to that is the my next topic i'm going to go into next time i will come here um but it will also touch his religion because there's one man they call ebu kobi on 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 lagos as our people brand um a, a bumbling moron in the name of pastor an idiot some say don't cost them Ta! Make sure not says. Again, uh, the camera. We don't take it easy on them. Provided you are a criminal, deceiving our people. He he make a prophecy. Say Owazirike is dead. Um, Owazirike is suffering from um. What did he say? He's suffering from stroke. Uh, and they they are irats about it. Well, I say he's, he's, he's not what he meant. He is not the Owazirike he called. Let us tell ourselves the truth. When you talk about Owazirike in Igbo land. If you are not a Biafran, Igbo speaking Biafran, tell yourself the truth. If you speak, I say, oh, again, who are you referring to? You don't want to call the son name. Some are saying, it's not that the Wazirike he meant. The real the, the Wazirike has come out and testified. You know, you know, baby Jesus, they know how to defend their gullibility. Look, we are here, look, we are coming. I got power such a so I tell you. Look, we are before I open my life. Look, we are. 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 Okay, you okay. are not coming out. Okay, you are not coming out. You are not hungry. You have every money to take care of you medically. Okay. But that part of your body is not receiving any light. Okay. Any life at all. Owazirike Akatu Sokotoshina. Well recognized in your town. A title man like you. As I'm talking right now. Your one side of body is dead. The family knows that it's not ordinary. Everybody tells you it's not ordinary. Everybody around me is complaining that it's not ordinary. But no one to hold the responsible. But tonight, the This is how they put family in trouble. He wants to make a prophecy. He didn't call complete them. They, they, they always do it like that so that they will have a room to, to you know, lie about it. He never see a prophecy that they are going to rig P2B out. He is never telling a prophecy how much America is going to come out. They always give a prophecy of death, 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 and they will use it to justify their power. Look where, look where Lord has remembered this family. Amen. It may be one person watching from that family. It could be one nephew watching. Prophecy fire can go to different directions. So far, there is a point of contact. I don't know this man who come was reading. He's a lot of know. He's still hidden. Many people don't know. But the few that know are still telling you. Right now, the Lord said that you prophesy your healing. Amen. The Lord said that from now that it will confess your sins because you have really tormented one or two people. 
Don't feel that living in Europe, America. Now, how do you know, now do you see this kind of thing? That's right. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know, we click on another. I don't know who you are. Another country. Zuzu do me show no. Zuzu do me show no. No, I am one of the chief guys at work. For this time, I'm the one who just make no talk to you. Ta. Zuzu do me show no. Look, we had to grab the man out from his home. He was looking at that. He's young, he must. The man, the man, he will fear. The man is with you. See, no be me be this. Mm. I say he's not you, he's referring to. Look at the man. <laughs> the man never OT for I don't have time. Let me bring where he remove his clothes. I don't have time. Um uh, Namor. Was written as a thief, was written as a liar, was written as a Wait, wait, oh, okay. Go! Remove your shirt. However, oh, I could remove your shirt. And the knowledge. Ah. Okay, well. Your people was burnt. Abundantly. Oh, yeah, well, I go block you. No, get it. Uh, hey, well, I know the pick your call, your call here. Now. He shall have a shoe. Hey, look here. If you miss something. Okay. So there's nothing. For a very long time, I've not been safe. I don't know where the guy who calls himself man of God or so picked the news that was written is fake, was written is not well, was written will soon die. I'm not I'm not having any show. <laughs> this is me. The real. Come and challenge my big child of you. <laughs> I'm not sick. Do I look like a sick person? Look at my face. Was you tell not sick? I can't be sick. I'll tell you. I think I'm on myself. So you will say, ah, you are not the only one who can be, you are not the only person who has seen what's written. There are two who's written in the whole world. Rafa was wicked and the rest. So if you say oh, was wicked, everybody will think it's Rafa was wicked. He didn't so that's why I'm doing this video to say to debunk the, the nonsensical news that was wicked is sick. I'm not sick. I know you missed me after a long time. I've not been talking. <clears throat> because he said you wanted to be the president of Nigeria. Because I came up to say, someone who came to my house and begged me to support him to be president. I said, well, I believe in the youth taking over governance. A governor at the age of 46. Yes. I said, I support you. You will care on me. What we get is this. Your brother wants to be president. Blah, blah, blah. I said, no, evil man will be the president of Nigeria. He said, no, he must be president. Most of you left the Diabra struggle and jumped into the ship. I agree with you. Of uh, a <laughs> Nigerian president. I agree with and you. I said, fine. <laughs> they left Diabra struggle. I agree with you. That's why we speak the truth. Let me now begin to pick on. People are calling here and there. Hey, our brother, I know you. Okay, let me. He's okay, brother. Yeah, I know. Okay, let me put, send the voice here. You can play it on the program because I'm traveling and there is a lot of uh, bad network here. So as I was saying, when uh, Buhari won the election, I was jubilating. I spent close to 100 and something thousand and he said, At Mbukampo, jubilating that what our that they prop. All right, people are calling. People are calling. People are calling. Professor of our daddy has come to pass. And that is when our brother Ucho Hodi from Ekulabe wanted to take me to my... Don't worry, our brother. I will make sure that I play... Uh, Malaysia. Our brother says he, he's, um, he's traveling. So that's why there's network. He's on his way. I thank him very much. That's why I can't bring him video, you know, to distract him. He's traveling and also talking to us. Okay, let me put send the voice here. You can play it on the program because I'm traveling it's okay. and there is a lot of uh, bad network here. It's okay, bro. So as I was saying, we're on 200 to where it is now. So I was 
swimming out of ignorance just like them as of then. So I don't blame them, and I know that nothing will happen to me. And if anything happened to me in the name of attack, Christianity will be born to ashes in Nigeria, in Africa, in Igbo land. It's a promise. Send the voice to anywhere. If anything happened to me in the name of attack, nobody will enter church in Igbo land. They will be killed like animal. Nobody, that is it. Nobody will kill you, brother. Nobody will kill you, brother. Or ranting. They are good with ranting. Nobody will kill you. Continue your good job. Uh, let me begin to now pick us. I think if somebody is calling me like I see if I'm going let me see who you are. Ewo no yare keji owo. Ka mara kolo ni ewo. Mara Yes, can you hear me, brother? Yes, sir. I'm a machine. Yes, go on. You say, you say, brother. Thank you, brother. Bless you. Bless you, brother. Um, very, very ginger. I want to make this thing clear. Uh, I have I have to repeat it again. Many of you that are fighting yourself, continue fighting yourself. We are not fighting individuals. We are fighting the wrong doctor they brought to us. Like I said it here, we are Biafrans. Some of you are supposed to be upholding Biafran as their religion. You know, many of you are saying, uh, when Biafra come, uh, it will now supersede everything. Start now. Hold Biafra as their own religion. Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? You're not serious. You're not serious. You pick my caller, you're not speaking. You can have him in Tatan and Dara. Yes, hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you very clearly. What do you What do you have? Oh, 
Yeah, sorry. Uh, I called once called you once at a time like that about. Did you, you send? Did you send like me? Yeah. Do you send me the link? You said you said. Do you send me the link? You said you are going to send it to me. Calm down, please. I do. come on, get out from here, says idiot. Calm down. On the calm down, um, autopilot. You think I don't know you? Oh, um, autopilot. You better be man, calm down. Come on, Susan. Una, una, you know, can't turn down the thing. I'm actually believe it. On your way, I guess you calm down. I don't, it is very happy. I, it is very lucky. I didn't allow you to control speaking. I will, I will disgrace you here. You come to my platform last time ago. You told me, Rambo, 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 tell people that uh, we are killing twins. We are killing uh, people in, uh, in Enugu. I told you to send us link. You never send me a link. You don't know that I know that you are not a pilot. The same thing, calm down. I'm here. You believe me. Calm down. Calm down. Yes, our brother. Yeah. Hey, Jim, I'm too. Correct, man. Correct, man. You know, you speak it all in. I am willing to For sure, for sure. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it takes. You know what I mean? I know you. I know you, brother. Before, yeah, be, before, yeah, before, 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 don't, uh, uh, don't listen to the people that are calling you. They don't, they don't like you. They want to put you in trouble so that come here the egg advice people you them. But that's the one that are white, 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 even if I saw the happy, if I if 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 so <laughs> Abola, he. This is what we will try to avoid. Uh, will, yeah, will, yeah, no yes, yes, I will try to avoid it. Um, uh, but we are going to be dealing with the doctrine. We are going to be dealing with the doctrine. I want to repeat again. I know. I know. I'm repeating this. We are not after any individual in this struggle. We are not attacking personality in this struggle. We are not pointing finger at individuals. No. We are after the disease in general that they brought to us. So don't take it personal unless you are a fanatic. Unless you are, you are an extremist, you take it personal. You now begin to see it is a, is a kind of division. We want to bring division. And before I started this program, I showed you how they were burning our own artifact. Do I, do, do, that one is a freedom of worship. So I want many of you to be also relating our pastors at home. That they should stop burning our own way of life. Oh, what a message you should not be doing. Oh, we are happy when they want. They should allow our own way of life to excel. On your own run and stay on your lane. If you come here and to see evil that is going on, we'll speak about it. I tell you. So that is why I think uh, even a reverend father. A reverend father is also doing it. Look at the, what a the reverend father is doing. How will I be attacking the man at the grace? In as much as the reverend father. I will respect him for what I saw he did. We must make sure we pay respect to our own world of life. I will hang it for many of you. Look at the man is playing um, again. Now, but I will be able to preach. Now, but no banjo in Homer. Or banjo is a good thing. He told his um, his followers. Let me pick your call. Let me pick your call. Uh, you have to speak. Can you hear me? Your line is not good. 
Can you hear me? I can hear you. Loud and clear. Go straight to the point, brother. Go straight to the point. No time to waste. Yes. Thank there is no time to waste. Thank you very much. Uh, I call to encourage you. Okay, brother. 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 I think they, they will be wise enough to understand that we are also doing the job. They know, they know, they know. So nobody, 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 should, nobody should join us with the DOS. We are not joining you with them. Mm. I, want to, I want to make this very point. I want to note this point, like what our sister said. Very important. The importantness of what she said is, you know, Going back to our root, she was talking about our spirituality and religion. Religion is of gathering. Mm. Our spirituality, when you come to your house, your father has the way he communicates to his father. To go to yes. So as my own, so as my own father has his own day and time. Mm -hmm. We don't come. We don't. I don't go to your father's place. And your father and your father friend will come to your place for us to communicate to Tuku Abiyama. No. That is that spirituality she's talking about. And that is our way of life. And that is who we are. Right. We, 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 even this present, uh, uh, present culture and tradition that people have misunderstood and begin to do rubbish about. We are also talking about it. We are not only talking about Christianity. We are talking about our own infusion of our religion Correct. so like we say we are not personal uh -uh, we are uh -uh. not attacking any set of religion uh -uh. we are not attacking any set of people i want to advise my brother donald if i thought what, what madam Eda, Eda i said it's normal you know if uh, if i would go and we go see ms on time i agree i agree how annoying how annoying sometimes how annoying I agree with you. It should not join it. It should not join it to become an issue. Open on your actual road. Join on your own. You can join. Because it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. But even get a man you do and then you when you bring this opinion in, and then yeah, I'm a great father and a man who can know that is a religion. It's a religion you put there, the Bible. It's a religion problem. Exactly. No having that very, no having that acumen of reasoning, bringing out issue. See, anybody in this struggle that is going to join issue with the religion to what we are doing is a stupid person. I have. But like Martin and the Kanu say, wherever we meet evil, we, 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 we pull it down. Exactly. Or matter or onion or you involved. Exactly. Or see a bolo fad, or see a bolo bishop, or see a bolo religion. We pull, we pull it down. You know, they have an answer. Just like a advice on your line. Okay, now, open a man on your own now. Or you did be a simple, hey, Natalazi, wow, or one Natalazi. I have. I have. I am in the front of the war. If I need to see the enemy, or some no baga apa na, ni pe me lebo, mu anati etevezi. Mu anaji ambe ni jevele jeveke. Ni pe simu je. Oh, what you ambe no ni ro? Because simu natawa ya se. Ugo my my decision. Just like a story my mother was telling me, one of our cousins get married. When they were married, they went and prayed. And when they prayed, finish, they said the marriage has been sealed by God. And today she's telling me, I should bring money. Uh, the husband of that my nephew want to kill him. I was asking him, in this shit, what happened that you tell me that God is with? Now you want to kill him. What happened? <laughs> oh, you have a religious Thank you, brother. Thank you, my so, brother. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Let me go to you. Let me go to you. Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Our oh, brother, you're not picking. Let me go to another person. Yes, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, Reverend Father Metusel, Metusel, I want Metusel deck. It's me. Oh, the Reverend. I'm Reverend Father. Yes, yeah, I, I love that. Yes, brother. Yes, 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 my brother. Um, if I'm a man in South Africa, he's funny you all the way from South Africa. You're welcome. Yes, um, my brother, please. First of all, I just want to ask you just quite um a question, just to know how to remember a bit like a bit belly, a bit belong to people. My brother, because what is your religion? Can religion belong to? Because uh, my religion is Biafra. Biafra. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. 
also my religion is Biafra. Biafra is my religion. Yes. And also, my infant child, my infant child, my infant child, your father be covered now. Are possible? Okay. Are they possible at all? Many color now we can it not color of your type. Just give me a couple hashtag. You know, you know, join on the religion it belong to your type. Give me then on the form of hashtag. You know, Biafra is my religion. On your platform, this is your new platform. Well, um, well, uh, I wouldn't want to, you know, we have a freedom of worship. Are you aware? Yes. So, uh, I don't think, yes. um, if the, be, I'm, yes, I'm coming. We can't, we can't, we can't, all, all, all just your religion, you believe. I know, I, believe, I know, I hold on there, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I know. Um, in as much as there's yes. a freedom of worship, I, there's no need of me yes. asking people which religion they have. Uh, for me, it doesn't make, uh, it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of us are human. You know, all this religion, religion, you know, do you believe that religion is a concept of man? Are you, do you agree with me? I, I know, I know that. Correct. So that's why it's not, yes. um, I, I appreciate your, uh, 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 you know, uh, suggestion, you know. Uh, I agree with you in some certain area, but at this point in time and what we are doing, we don't need to ask, even atheists, we will need them. Even those that don't believe in what we are doing, but at least they, they love freedom, you know. Uh, even Muslim, you know, who love freedom. We also welcome that because what we are fighting is to be free. And what we are doing is that whatever that will hinge us, this is what we are trying to bring out and condemn it in total. Yes. And also, Mr. Sarif and Charlie Dukagebo, because how can we modify our deities? Mm. How we modify this, our, this old deities? In a way, in a way, this so called fool. You were, were just more than this so called like those statues. Because if an album, if an album, I am me, don't we only can stay come out of the DHL, not at that. If a statue, and if I did like people not on people, the country didn't have a big fan issue. If a statue, Jesus Christ, all those with the Mary, if from this pastor, can I am a pastor Buka? And I've got those start to veg Mario. No, what if I would just like deceiving? And you deceive our people, our animal, our generation, I can go, but if it's no cook, you this our born kid. Or if I call more, 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 that this is our new generation. KK is we modify our own deities. Okay. In a way, mm. presentable. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I think, um, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I know. <laughs> Yes, thank you, brother. I think I got your I got your question. Like I said, it's one of the things why we are here. Our brother is asking us how can we modify our deity? Mm. A deity shouldn't be modified. Mm. Deity is deity. Mm. If you go to Italy, they have a place they call Colosso. You know, they return how it was in the ancient times so that it will pass its message of history. So our own must be the way they are. Not like if you modernize it now, it have lose even its value. And we are not even talking about a deity or no deity. All we want to do when we hear Biafra is our religion, that is why I said going back to our root. What does it mean? It means to love your neighbor as you love your own self. Do good to your to humanity. Respect peoples, and at the same time, love supersede all. On the Lubawan Nabalos, so I have asked them to kind of go this struggle on the Lubawan Nabalos. And I have been witnessing that on the Lubawan Nabalos since I joined this struggle. The way people receive me, the way my family here, you know, treat me, the way we help each other in terms of hard, hardship, in terms of giving them what they need to survive as a human. If you have opportunity to help your brother, you help it. That is why we need to come together, see ourselves as Biafra, not as Christians, not as Muslims, because those things are alien to us. We must see ourselves first as Biafra before any other thing. So that's why I told you Biafra is my religion. It means a lot to me compared to other things that I don't know where they come from. Let us listen to this priest. This priest is saying that Obanje is a good thing. So why will I be attacking people like this at the priest? That's why I told many of you, not individual. Look at the man here. Supposable. 
I love that. I love that. It's okay. It's okay. Has a, has our message is not going on. Our message is 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 going now. Father, say more. Emo da banje. Where go joy? Obanje manama. Um. Let me go to you. You get me a uh. Say tell me a two minutes here. Quit here off. Two minutes here. Quit here. Yes. Continue. You have two minutes. Uh, my brother, my two. Yes, brother. Oh, good evening. Is, I think it's not good to. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna march in joy. The only thing in that you gonna get the CK. Hey man, our people, they are now now got a few inkuzigi. Hey, what are you? On a young man, my baby said, "Yeah, you are not fighting anybody. I'm not only in a age of so now, but I joy here. Mando, me na na ne, me mando kane me. So I'm not, I'm not only in a matter. I'm not only in a in a bale. I need follow me. Male, everything, every program I'm on, I'm open on a drop. I need follow guy in a wedding, wedding card room. Correct. The wedding card room. Correct. The only thing you do, people, male, in a get program. He need it, but only you know you want to cook it. We. Oku on get them you worry. Oku on can if 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 ever log. You do we are now. For sure. Carry on. So because can do only have a man at each of these platform now. As met on a platform again or again. He now control the money run charge of it. Our mm -hmm. people from Malena, they go this platform. Kuzela and many things, and they liberate here some people. I am some many things. I am a blow. So he got he questioned respect for that platform. But please, dear, because we cannot any thing in a game of I know that anything in it. But only when men are damn born, and I go forever. I am happy now. Exactly. So the only thing they respect that platform because. Any man they build up here, or any me be a part, be attack. Any man get disrespect up the comment section. So ni am not team make any of na malo. Iye ayi na kuz iye ayi na kuzie ba o. Any of na malo inke dem ma kopi kie because ayi man buye na po man didi biana po any of na. Next pose evil thing ha neme ana akolo daka. Oku ya te pute zioku the other side in kadro ma ha neme. Thank you, brother. I love that. Uh, let's go straight without wasting more time. Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I will not pick it again, brother. I don't know. Go and check your connection. Uh, I will be descending. I will be descending in a jiffy. I'll be descending. Let me call this. Our brother have been calling me. Um, or to talk about no come, but I'm not like in the new cook. Let me call this. Our brother, yes, can you hear me? I can hear you. Good evening, sir. Yes, straight to the point, brother. Mm -hmm. What do you have for us? Okay, please. Mm -hmm. I, I have one or two things to say, but I just pray the little time you give me. We, yeah, that's why I have to start. My yes. Yes, Kachine, can you claim I can let me say the right thing? Okay. So, well, one of the one of the things I want to say is this thing you are doing. I just pray that you have the grace to do it, because one of the problem we have that is against our freedom is what I call mess. M O E S S. The first one is media, using media to manipulate our mind. The second one is evil indoctrination. And this evil indoctrination, there's a past or so now I call that evil indoctrination. The, the, the third one is is slaughtering, clean our people to, to 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 intimidate them. Why the last one is sabotage? You understand? Yeah. So and another thing I want to say, that is why you need to because if you stop this thing you are doing, that evil indoctrination will continue and will go back to, to, to Egypt. Then another thing I want to talk about is in the area of religion. There is something like I always follow Mommy Mary T. Heather. She she makes a lot of sense and I want to say one or two. 
I, I always say that intelligence mm. is the creator. You, you are a civil engineer, you understand? Yes. There is no thing in this life. The intelligence simply means organization. If you go from the tiniest atom, you have a nucleus, protons revolving around it, up to element to the universe, you discover there is one single pattern of everything, and that is called intelligence. You understand? Mm -hmm. so, and this intelligence, and this intelligence is what our forefathers down to us called, there was a question I asked you, but time would not permit me to go into all that. So, but this intelligence is what our forefathers called to put it up there. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, well, that is what we tell people that what we need to do is like, you see this Roman, these Roman people that, 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 that built uh, Christianity. What they did, because you know that this um, Messianic uh, teachings from Israel, mm. he, my brother, he, he has a lot of powerful um, 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 argument to make with any religion in the world. You understand? That mm -hmm. was why the Romans, because I didn't mean the Romans did not bring it into their culture. You understand? They would have won over Romans, and Romans would have run, lost their culture and tradition. So what they needed to do, knowing the, the strong argument that uh, this thing portrays, I just pray, I wish you could give me time, that, uh, that uh, Christianity, or, um, the Messianic teaching portrays, they have to imbibe it into the teaching of into the uh, Omenara. So when they invited it, that was why they did not propagate it. Look at this thing now, and let me know, let me, I mean, if you give me more time, I'll continue, but let me finish here first before, if you say continue, I'll continue. Now, if, if any day we are able to destroy the power of this religious stronghold in our land, in my name, we to go online. I, I would have a lot to say, but let me just, let me just... Let me, uh, let me ask you, what did you study in school? I, I studied physics. Ah, I, I would not I would have no love to tell you, but I studied physics. You studied, is it you federal events of technology over there? Uh Unisic. So Unisic you studied I'm physics. Afraid, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid of saying what I'm saying, but I'm saying it. Yes, I, I, no, no problem, no problem, no problem. Uh, you don't have pure and a, pure 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 and applied physics. Uh, because I'm also I'm if, I'm a very good in physics. I think uh, I got an award. Okay, let me let me not, let me not, let me not drop one thing for you. Let me but tell drop, you drop you because know, because you study physics. Drop one thing. Drop one. Drop one. Then I'll leave you. Okay. To go. Do, do you know? Okay. Okay. Do you know there's what they call uh, the this Kodinga equation and Herzog? Uh, I I know. Uh, Herzog theory. Yes. I know. I know about that. Thank yes. you. Now now I want yes I want to just uh, this thing I say has nothing to do with physics but I want to use physics as a light in what I want to say. Okay. When I talk about spirituality, that spirituality is nothing but intelligence. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. So you see, like, I always I always tell people that there is no contradiction whether a creator exists. Because intelligence, just, I wish there is anything you can understand that intelligence is just a creator. I heard you, you did one construction, civil engineering construction. What made that possible is nothing but intelligence. Yes. You, as the human being, in your mother's womb, what formed you and formed you and you that became a human being is nothing but intelligence. So our people now are being distracted with this God concept. So now if you if you are not talking about God, talking about Christianity, they are fighting you because they don't understand that what you are doing, you are not even fighting religion. You understand? Yes. But you are trying to just bring out that stronghold of religiosity as, as mommy says, and my see that we put it from them. So that we, they will know, because like as Jonathan always tell us about the creation of man. So let me just go to this Kodiga something I brought into life. If you check that equation, if you if they bring it to a secondary school physics person, he will not understand what is there. You understand? Because you see a lot of flat constants, a lot of uh, wave functions, and a lot of things there. You understand? Mm. But that thing you see that looks so complicated and complex. Hold on, hold on there, hold on there, hold on there. Is it a, is it a, hold on there. Let me know whether my brain is still functioning because I've been a long time. Plan constant is it 6.0 times 10 raised to power 23, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that been, it has been a long time. Uh, 6.0 times 10 raised to power 23. My dear, you try very well. Yeah, yeah, continue. See, I, I, I told you I'm, I'm, I'm into physics, but it has been a long time. But continue, brother. Continue. Yes, I even mean, I'm, not, I'm not using physics as, you know, Nigeria. I always go check guy, one horse. So, I but I, why I'm always saying, because that... Uh, um, cause gave me a lot of intelligence into mm. reality of life. Yes. That is why you see me partaking most especially in, in anything religion. Because 
there is nothing but this is simply intelligence. It's the brain, brain, brain. So, and this brain is what, like this equation I was bringing to you now. If you look at it or you bring it to a primary school start student, you will see it as in a rubbish. You don't even know what you are saying. But that thing you see there is nothing but simple common sense of one plus one equals to two. Divide this, minus this, add this. And do before you know it, you get an equation. Thank you, brother. And Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Just summarize. Yes. Just, maybe just stand up. With uh, you. Drop, drop one. Yeah, drop one. Then I, I, I have to hear from you. Yes. Okay. Yes. And this, and this thing now that I said now is what controls the universe. As common sense, you understand. Yes. If there are spirits that exist, spirit does not act in any modulus of randy out of this world. They still act on intelligence. If there is uh, anything that exists, so what we are trying to do is to make our people start reasoning logically with what is on ground. Because things in Matthias with the Jewaha about miracles, they have not seen any miracle to today. You promised me that we'll have a program, so I pray. Okay, brother. So okay, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I enjoy your conversation, our brother. I know if I allow you, have a lot to say. Yes, can you hear me? Hello. Good yes, good evening. Go straight to the point, brother. What do you have for us? Okay. What I have for uh, this platform is that you see our people, what is confusing them at this why, why is your line not steady? Your line is making too much noise, too much static. I'm using. Let me offer this. No, no, Fred. You better find. You better find. Oh, yeah, continue. Let me see. Oh, yeah, continue. Okay. The problem is that our people, they misinterpret everything. Then when we talk about uh, the our deity and the soul, they change it to God. And then the Christianity, they turn it to God, means what the, the white men told them. But they are not God. The 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 uh let me the deity we have means the Amadioha uh, and so it's just like the angels that the white men also told them. We have a Germanical and the Gabriel. These thoughts are the angel of war, angel of this. They want to come to our own our own side of uh, the religion or, or worship. This is Amadoha and so in my place we have a uh, uh, Kamalo, which mm. is the god Kamalos. of uh, thunder. No, Kamalos, yeah. So mm. that is how all these things is, but they they thought them that all these ones are evil. And if the, the, the one from the Europe is, 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 is the good one. So that, that is what our people are confused. So I believe that if, but their pride will not, and their pride and ego will not allow them to learn uh, so that they will change. But then the pastors that are, uh, that are teaching them just to, uh, just to take something from them will never tell them the truth, whereas they know the truth. That is our problem. But I thank you because of this program that, that you are holding. I believe that more eyes are going to open. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you brother. Bless you, brother. Bless you, brother. Ah, our people. Our people, we need to continue staying with you people. Um, look at Methuselah here, battling with a native dog, a traditionalist. This is me. Battling with Nde, Nde Gifu. Dr. Brebe Camp is a place that... Okay. We have native doctors like you and others who are masquerading all over the internet, telling us that they have power, but they do nothing over the things going on in our land. I have no grudges about your wealth. I have no grudges about your progress. It is individuality. But I want many of you to begin to tell ourselves and our people the truth, so that our people will stand up and defend themselves. Some of them are looking upon you people to do something. But they know that you people, you people have no power. You have no power. You said? You are very so this is um this is one of the confrontation with a native doctor this one is not a christian no. 
So it's just to tell many of you that I'm trying to bring um, another concept to pin us down so that we will not speak. <laughs> He's a dead and arriver. Guy, this guy, I check on my do propaganda, bring him down. No. You remember the music I used to play those days when I'm starting? Asli. I it make me stronger now. So some of you that are running around, they want to drag our 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 gallant men, the, the ever ever wisest duels we have ever met in this struggle, to come and begin to uh, one Metisala, the way he is bringing division among these. If he continue like that, uh, all of us will quit this song. Quit now. Quit now. You, you cannot have a Me and you go to suffer. You, you quit here. Uh, nah, you do me. You also do yourself. You try to come and confront issues. You say you want to quit. Quit now. Yes, can, I, can, I, can, can you hear me? You have two minutes. I think you are a regular caller. You have two minutes. Normally, uh, we not be yeah, yeah, people that are called regularly. Just go to state your point, brother. Okay, Mazime, to what I want to say, I've learned a lot today. What I've learned, YouTube that I've learned today, don't to go to a fight, he doesn't know how we started and the what caused it. Mm -hmm. Most if you are POP or anybody. And uh, Mazime, I thank you for your program you are making. I've never called anybody name. As you as can as do whatever you want to say, and you have never called anybody name. Let the people calling people name in their program stop to call people name. And you are not taking it personal. What you are doing, you are teaching these people that uh, is it not the Bible? They tell them if somebody slap you this side, turn this side, they don't slap you to, to to left and right. You see not the same thing. Yeah, you appreciate them for the church. Then I say we are you, you want to rescue them. It's not how you walk. My father, if he try it, so he, he an eight minutes beat you as I come back to even he will bury you that day. So that's the thing. You want to rescue them for this kind of character. And the second thing, Donat, uh, our brother Donat uh, Azubike, his, his eye is in that our sister. Because if his eye is not in uh, that our sister, he cannot be in your comment sense or writing, she look like a 90 years old uh, woman. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah. What, what do, how do you see? Look like, like because of your eyes, is in there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Huh? So, so what, did my platform. Is what, yeah. what did the woman say is true? Okay. So what is the woman saying is true? Because it's in their comments, your comment section saying it's looking like a 90 years old woman. So that means it's looking that woman. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, come. Let him tell his prayer. Yeah, we're going to read all the money. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, no, this is okay. You have to be well in your party for. Yeah, come here. Let's be like, you know, the case for a way from the way of Lamu. Rome, Morocco, way from Lamu. I feel like yes, yes, Eh, I'm a witcher or teacher. <laughs> Even a struggle, I'll be in my any. You know, I'm not a struggle, be it all my No wonder you know, I'm married from one, plat one platform to another. You see, you try to book it. Even I have not been there, the woman is look like a 90 year old woman. Get your game, my 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 Annoy. Mm. Let me tell many of you that are watching. Not everybody that's shouting all oh, hey Biafra job, but Biafra. Mm. Some of them are here for personal gain. Mm. That's why when they see us speaking, they think in the same way. Mm. When they see me speaking, some say you want to be relevant. Imagine how this relevant them they are the same. What is the gain? Mm. IPOB is not paying me. I'm not getting money from my page. Even many of you that are sharing my videos I'm doing, my life is in danger. So what is again now? I'm not okay. I'm not holding any position in IPOB. It's okay. You want to be relevant to say you be, you have a position. I don't have position. I'm just have like ordinary member like you people. So when people are beginning to talk, this matter is the I want one girl to block you. I'm more bad than organ. It be dream nonsense. Be send them. It be send them nonsense. Now what's it? Block or block your generation. I don't know you. And my money will be for.
Is it not because of we are doing Biafra? Do I know you? So why will you be trying to live my life for me? Do you know when I started the issue of this religion, think is today? Way back. Way back. The reason why I drop it because that maybe a couple of years ago is because I'm an urgent need. I'm an urgent need. Infiltrators enter our house. So religion happy infiltrator. We have dealt with infiltrator. That's why I left this one. Before it was Oba, Oba of Benin. Why do I enter into that? Because there are people are insulting Mazen and Namdekan, and I know why it is it's going to bend them. From Oba of Benin. In the autopilot, I said now, go one side. We le we I left it. I'm many battles in this struggle. Why? Because of those that are insulting this struggle and insulting the leadership and insulting Mazen Namdekan. So I kill a lot of those places. So now I have a big way the evil that is going on in our land, perpetrated by Christians. Especially the pastors. It won't have pastor. Somebody, I'm going to call him again. Somebody tell her that he was a pastor. Obama. Yeah, frog one. You know, he gave every platform. Somebody should go and caution Metisa. I never come out here and begin to call any individual name. Now then they call my name. Even this is unusual of me. I love saga. But I don't know what just came over me, even throughout this period. Ask those that know me, and I like them. But I go to the app, I watch it. Some people send me, me to look at how they are calling your name. I say, no problem. I know they're for gossip. Anybody can call my name, but I'm not calling anybody's name. Especially you are working for the Resolution of Biafra as a media, a media team. I don't have time to be calling your name now. I'm not going to change words. Some, sometimes, some of us don't need to even work together. I'm, I'm a Biafra because I'm together. And we must respect each other. I don't have one with private number. One neck, um, yes. Hello? Yeah, where Hello? are you calling from? Cable one with private number. Sorry, my shoulder. I will give it to you here. Oh, no, no, one of my jam. I'm not the one So, I'm not sure I'm going to that the number. I'm going to say the best. Oh, yeah, continue, number. continue, continue. So, one more. Mm. Um, this is Jamie Nabog, you know. Okay. I'm going to take a look at the but sir, Yes. No, so. In case you will be doing what? Mm hmm. And what? 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 You understand? So, get a mother within the years, you were saying, I knew when I did the amma, I knew when I played what job, Nenia, Moya. Eh? Nenica, Nenica, art, art work. What is art facts? I come on, a mammy can then not lie how to a cozy, a mammy can again. Then, my head to a mother, no, 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 Et Nene <laughs> I'm not telling history in the Christianity. How did I hear my castle? So I have a woman, I have a brand new ever had to know church. Or Afa, who do to go to go see to go in the next Afa woman in the IGP or Agro Mai. I give up your assembly. Now Afa gave it to you hear their own liking. You got to go. Now, Nate, you did the Afa. I have a woman, Guagi Paul, Guagua for Lama, as far as all their own men. And they did happy. Now they're in our. It's okay, brother. It's okay, brother. You know? Yes, brother. Yes, brother. 
I know you why have are a lot to say. Me? Why are they defending that thing? After can have another thing going on to. Why are they still defending it? I have a problem, brother. Yeah? It's okay, brother. I know you have a lot to say. Uh, brother, I have a lot to say. Matthew Salachai, how I wish we have time. Provide time for your people and give them time to speak. You can't just be telling people three minutes, four minutes. Give them time to speak. Even if it's um, a few people get that they express their opinion, I think that should be very, very nice. Uh, but it's very unfortunate that Matthew have to reschedule the way I do my program. Uh, maybe basically two times in a week. I want to go back. As we're also going back to our route, I want to go back to my career. We we'll have a lot of beer fans are holding project for. I suppose I'll finish it by now. Uh, I'm going to limit it the way I come out. Uh, but coming out on Sundays will be basically on religious issue. This is what um this is what this man is doing. This is what this man is doing here, burning our ancient artifacts. But they are preaching about freedom of worship. They are telling us freedom of worship. Um, uh, where is it? Have I lowered the volume? My God is not a God of stitch. The God of I my God is the God of heaven. The Almighty Jesus. And I may have freedom of worship. you give your life to Jesus and don't even participate on this idol worship things. It's a fake God. That is the only one. Thank you very much. Yeah? It has stolen the blood from the liver. All this rubbish. Stones from the liver. Wash the calabash. Yes, you're welcome, brother. You're welcome, brother. Um, thank you for your program. Okay. I appreciate your job. <coughs> for fixing points, for what you gave. For first of all, continue your job. For sure. Don't mind nobody. For sure, for sure, brother. And the uh, and, uh, pastors. Pastor, don't ask my girlfriend to bring oil to to rub her photo too. So no, so we don't pass them. Mm. No, be okay. No, you don't ask them to bring oil to rub for them. So they 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 be evil in nature. Another one is uh, this uh, Reverend Father that I say only when I go to I hope they is not the it's not dividing our our struggle. <laughs> but, uh, <right. laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Because when they talk about religion, it's different. Is the divided. So I hope the the reverend are singing and when they go to small banjo. Oh, wake you oh, the man, the, the man, they wake you up. Oh, wake you up, brother. Oh, wake you up. Oh, wake you up. Mm. And uh, and uh, according to uh, the videos you played, I never see a video where traditionality go to church and destroying church something. I don't know why Christians are the ones are violent, they are the ones complaining. My brother, you cannot beat a kid and say you should not cry. Eh? But uh Kaila, you have to continue your job. My God Thank bless you. Bless you, brother. Bless you, brother. Bless you, brother. 
This one is another one. They are burning a lot of things down. They are burning a lot of things down. So I don't know why. I don't know why. They go to our shrine, they pull it down. I don't just understand. But they are the ones that are talking about freedom of speech or worship. Sorry. They say freedom of worship. I don't know how this is a freedom of worship. They will go to our shrine, brother. Command all the service to be scattered by fire and set them ablaze. There is no more here. Father, I decree to die every satanic power that is not known. Today it has been destroyed. Amen. Amen. This land was liberated. Amen. Your, your family was liberated. Amen. I say your family was liberated. Amen. Today, prosperity will be a possible. Amen. I want to tell you. This generation will never see hardship. Enough is enough. It is high time to know that God has come to reign in the children's life. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, as many of you suffering a lot of things from. He's decreeing the name of Jesus Christ. What have God do? He, if he burn this wood now, then the government will start working. Do you see the reason why we are speaking? This man now that are burning this and telling the family will be free. So this is what is holding the family from not progressing. Not a government that are not bringing a good policy to serve for humanity. You see the reason why we are speaking. You see why we are speaking. Some of you are trying to stop our project. Do you now begin to see the disadvantage these people are doing in our land? Not allowing the youth to realize where their problem is coming from. It's guess I could you That will because we want to divide the struggle. Telling the guy that uh, he, he has, he has, he has, there's no power here, your problem is going to be over. Foundation of power as a Today you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, can you hear me, brother? I think I've picked for your call before. Um, let me allow if your if your call has been doing going off and going on, I think I will I will cut it off because um the last time I called, it was not really healthy. It sometimes it's going in, it's come out. Yes, can you hear me? Okay, yeah. Can you hear me clear now? Because I can hear you too. Yes. Yeah. What do you have for us? Just summarize. You know, you say you are a former pastor. Uh, I think we have crossed the yeah. issue of what we were discussing before. We don't want us to begin to go back into that. Yes. Yeah. As that. I said earlier, I did told you that we cannot go into Biafra with a lie. Wait, I uh, know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, small brother. I want to ask you a question. Just be honest. All those while you have been a pastor, uh, have you involved yourself in burning shrine? No, I was a pastor here, so but I wasn't a pastor in Nigeria. Okay, okay, okay. And then I I became a pastor for about four years here. Then COVID nineteen struck the world, and that was the time I decamped or dissociated myself from being a Christian. And when that COVID-19 struck the whole world, I watched Vatican on CNN, and I realized that even the Pope have run away. I watched Nigerian pastors, all of them vanished from the altar. Everybody went on computer, which is science. And then I asked myself a question. If Jesus is a healer, why can't we use it? Mm -hmm. Because anything you cannot use and you proclaim it that is effective, it means you are lying to yourself. You are a liar. For example, if I'm telling you right now that, hey, chloroquine cures malaria, and you have malaria, I couldn't issue you chloroquine, or I issue you chloroquine, you take chloroquine, and that malaria continues. It has proved that chloroquine cure malaria, isn't it? But when you take chloroquine and chloroquine cures the malaria, it proves that chloroquine is less for malaria, malaria sickness, isn't it? So it has evidence to prove itself. And when you talk about money, I don't know, are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you, yes. Yeah, if you talk about money, I pray for money, wait for it, I couldn't get it. And then I have to go and work and make money. It means that working gives money. Working has proven that it gives money. And prayer couldn't prove it. 
No, Nigeria is an evidence to prove that. Nigerians have been praying for money for good life. They don't have it because they fail to create jobs, which is work. Now, with this evidence I gathered together, I asked myself, if I cannot receive healing that is promised, I cannot receive money that the same Bible promised, how will I believe of eternity with God through Jesus Christ? And I, asked, I, read, I read Bible enough to understand that there was a story our parents used to tell us those days in the village, Anna Oya Akukuifu, it's called Pavo. They would tell us that tortoise went into bush, caught firewood, and fell. And when we ask our parents, is this true? Our parents will tell us the truth, that this is not true. It's just a mere story. Mm -hmm. And the same story was told in the Bible, that at, fell from heaven, as war broke up there, and then and he came to the earth. When he arrived to the earth, he turned to snake. And this snake talked to Adam, I mean Eve, sees Eve. The truth is that snake doesn't talk. And if we tell people that this thing is real, keep telling people that it is, it is a lie. So why would you take lie? Go along with truth. Lies will pollute truth. Lie will make truth inefficient. It, it creates inevitable environment for us all. And this is the reason why I decided <coughs> that I'm going to go home, start to create enabling grants, and then renew their minds to understand that this is not worth for us to go along into a new life which I call the Biafra with us because it's a lie and if you go in through with a lie you can never have success Nigeria has been using it since day one they realize it see now they are the poorest and each new day things continue becoming so difficult and then they pray day and night. So why would you want to go to new country? Because I know Biafra will come. That I know. Now, if this Biafra comes, you are going in there with these things you know it's a lie. You will never have a good life. Because almost all the pastors know that it doesn't uh, cure disease. It doesn't heal. Because I know during that time, faith tabernacle or faith was. People we are telling is they don't take medicine. And when they think they die, I know about three people from my extended family that died as a result of they couldn't take medicine. They were afraid of their um, religion and doctrine, and they died. So this thing now is what we are going along with. I told him that they can, uh, when he came to Maryland, we are these people we are you talked to earlier said to me. I know many of them anyway, but. When they see me there, because I know uh, the one they call Jude, who is from my area anyway, uh, from my very close to my village. So I asked them if they come during that. I said, see, because I'm a successful man. I'm a successful man. So I asked him, are we going with this religion? He said, we have freedom of anybody can worship anything. But there, I told him, but there are things that when you worship, it will derail you from the reality. So Christianity has been known to be a lie. And why do we have to accept something that we know is a lie? You have shown, you Metuna have shown different kind of antifas that these pastors are burning, setting fire, instead of modelizing it. They know that when they burn it, your son or your child won't see it tomorrow. So whatever they tell your child or your son is what your son will believe. That was the reason why the missionaries came to Africa and bought them. They were paying people to take them away so that we will see it. To be honest, I stayed in the village for almost 16 years of my life. I never see all these antifas because they took it. My own village was a religious. My grandfather was contributed to all this kind of life. And he died of poverty. He broke church. He was a Christian. My father, the same thing. Me too, I was, I, I can play music, sing anything, people will fall under anointing. But we die of poverty, and they keep telling my grandfather, wait, it will be good. My, then he died, my father took it, died of poverty in a mud house. I am the one who changed that place now, as a result that I travel to where there is work, where there is work, where there is opportunity to go to school, where there is opportunity to borrow money. Which means, for me to stand boldly to say, Jesus is a health 
of lie and deceiver. I know what I'm talking about. I just a house worth about 380 to 400 million naira in my house now in my village. But the problem is that I can't even go there now. Relax. Last December, I spent only two days in the village. But my police bodyguards were telling me that, oh, guys, you see, they are killing us. And these police people, uh, I've used since uh, 2017 that I've been using them. I've used no less than 10. Each time I travel, I use two. And they are different people. Most of them are, you, um, what is it called? Calabar, um, Niger Delta, Igbos. Sometimes I pretend, I will ask them this Biafran thing, I don't like it too, because they are creating insecurity. Okay, officer, do you like Biafra or Nigeria? Do you know that all of them, none of them have ever told me that they want Nigeria? They always tell me that Biafra will be better. Now, you hear what I'm saying? We hear it, brother. Just, um, I, I, for the sake of time, uh, just, well, just, just round up, yes, round up here. Just calm down. I am trying to, because I know a lot of people. I know, you know, you know, I know, you know, there's time difference. You know, we are living in another environment. Yeah. Even today, we shifted oh, our time. Yeah. You know, here is a very artificial country we shifted okay, our time today yeah, and um, it's almost getting to yeah. one o'clock in the midnight and i'll be going to work in the morning so, so just round it up in I the next two minutes please yes me, yes yes so meaning that all the police people believe me if this thing turns to war today you will see them joining the afro war uh, military i swear with my life i have interviewed many of them none of them have ever said they want nigeria instead of the, they all want to be afro so which means all youths that from Four to five years down to one year, all of them in that region, Eastern Nigeria, want sovereign state of Biafra, and that is the only solution. But you can never go there and survive with Christianity. If you go there with Christianity, you will become a failure within a short period of time. That's what I asked him and the candidate. You cannot go into life, not I know that these things are lies. Why would I accept them? Or why would I go into them? The same Christianity are the ones or the any um, or all these one is a pastor that prayed and ordained to wear in oh, who's the Today, where is it? Any religion that will have you take oath of allegiance for you to do. So I believe that God of the tribe of evil, which is my priority. Because I don't know when we get this diaspora, we might even still split it because of tribal issues. Then there will be evil nation. But I will do it and I will get it right. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Let me leave it here. Thank you, brother. Um, this is his opinion. I know many of you may try to frown face on it. It's your own opinion, but we are still on the struggle to restore Biafra. Um, when the time comes, we know how to do it. What we're supposed to do now is to continue clearing the obstacles on the way that can be able to allow our people to see Biafra before others. Biafra issues supposed to supersede other things you have in mind, be, be it your religion or whatever. After Biafra come your religion. That is why we are making sure that our land become a very fertile and at the same time conducive environment where people can be able to strive and achieve their success without having any superstitiousness in it. Um, the reason why I tell many of you that these people are mad is just because of their behavior. Just the last video I'm going to show you, which is just not going to even take up one minute. This is a behavior of people. Those are sometimes we should know how we debate with them. I know they are not normal. The disease is too much. We are going to be taking easy with them. This is a human being reasoning. Wait, Smith, talk talk again. Wait, just come out from where you come out. Come here, come here. 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 Come here, He's the same because it's a thing of this world. First John chapter 3 verse 5. Okay, it's not They cannot burn you. They cannot burn you. If I did that one. They are saying what they give back to me. Wait, Smith, talk again. Talk again. Talk again. Talk again. Talk again. <laughs> they didn't ask anybody to bomb me. <laughs> he said when a man impregnated his wife, it's a sin. And they ask you, okay, you that is talking now, is it not human being that bomb you? He's asking them, do you ask anybody to bomb me? <laughs>
so that is the reason why we are going to be taking it gradually with them they are lost oh why oh why oh why oh why uh -huh, uh -huh, i see if he's fight we are not fighting i ain't gonna even expose the atrocities until they shamely wake up so when a man married his wife he won't want to she can get television we not impregnate her to get children he said it's a sin all quite human being created with this concept to sin sinner in dutch i'm not going to say no they don't know it so i want to thank many of you that are here i want i want you to remain blessed i want you to remain blessed remain steadfast our um, information is getting out that our brother kamsi was abducted again by the nigerian police this is true this is supposed to be what we'll be tweeting and at the same time making sure we make it go viral as i'm finishing my program i'm going to go into uh, facebook to see what is going on if we have a picture we have we can begin to circulate it that's the least we can do for the person uh, no other thing and then go to meeting and at the same time if you have what will contribute financially to help those that are working to be able to decide their duties um they call on a call on social media uh is doing this is creating problem and uh, this issue of religion we have to leave it now uh, this is not something we have to tackle it because of it one year because you don't know what we are fighting yeah many of you are in this struggle to kg and what a favor only only you struggle with a document who can talk with you with a document and you want to go before you join the struggle so what, what can i say now i benefited in this struggle yet if not working for my generation that is to come i want to join the engine letter here again without oh can you get your turn we can do a chota favor. We can do a low laddy. We can do that as we can actually have one of them. One of them say, now become half a year. She's struggling for one particular thing or the other. I'm going to call her one of idiot. Hmm? The American one have a professional house. He can get a bunch of them. Get a chota one. Yeah, well, please. Don't disturb me. Instead of you to Say the amount send that you went away because of one you say you know reaching level. Only one you let her you wish. That's and I can't bear this this nonsense. This is a doctor, doctor, now nah, doctor, doctor. This is this. I thought you are married. You want one? Still, you walk in one a preacher about polygamy is a sin. But take another one, you're not talking another woman. But you know, you need to be about polygamy is a sin. I'm going to polygamy in a grand in because we speak it the way it is. Many of you are pretenders. I'm not going to say I'm going to say polygamy in nature, and that's how it is. I'm not going to say I'm going to say I'm going to say I'm going to say I'm going to Some of you can ask that this guy, you're not a very sincere person. You cannot be a good man the way I'm looking at you. Because I'm telling you my own, open. But some of you will be hiding your own. Pretending. Let me leave you people here. We are going to convene when it is necessary. Remember, and I remain your humble servant. Matthew's family.